La La La, episode 11, Turning Point. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, told you we'd be back next year. Not a moment, to, not a moment soon enough. Uh, thank you guys for coming back to uh, watch the next episode of Valor Live. Let's go ahead and uh, kick things right off. Uh, if you're not familiar with us already, uh, go ahead and do normal round of introductions. Uh, I'll be the GM for this session. Uh, my name is Zachary Mayer. I'm a voice actor based in Las Vegas, Nevada. You most likely heard of me as Dr. Sylvester Ashling in the show Epithet Erased, as well as you can hear me in various other indie animations, cartoons, and video games all across the internet. And up next, we got Francesca. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. Um, my name is Francesca Callo. You can hear me in shows like Pokemon, um, Regal Academy, um, Archive 81. Uh, I don't have anything to promote. promote. I just wanted to say real quickly, um, the voiceover community lost a prolific actor last night. So just wanted to say, um, uh, just take care of yourselves and take care of the people around you and um, tell them that you love them. And that's it. Happy New Year. That is. And up next, we got Paul. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. And um, my name is Paul Green Dennis. I just got my character demo reel done. It's up on Twitter. You can check it out. And um, also, I am in a podcast of uh, season two of this podcast called um, Weeping Cedars that you can check out on Spotify. Um, podcast, character demo reel. And also, once again, I did a cover with um, Sapphire of Final Fantasy XIV um, song, Locust. And um, coming up also, I'm in, I'm one of the main uh, antagonist in an upcoming indie game that's in development so I'll, I'll keep you in the loop for that otherwise yeah that's it take care of yourselves please definitely check out Paul's stuff if you haven't already demos is slick by the way uh next up is Tamara Hi everyone, I am a uh, voice actor, as you can tell by everyone here. <laughs> um, a voice actor most known for uh, my roles in Warframe uh, and Wargroove, as well as various other indie games and that sort of thing, and a lot of online projects over the years. Uh, oh god, do I have anything? Oh, I'm uh, most recently in uh, Valiant Comics uh, tr as uh, Faith which is really cool. So uh, check out Valley Comic Comics on YouTube. They have a nice little comic dub they put out recently, and it's really neat. And last but certainly not least, we have Lily. Hi, I'm, oh, my voice just cracked. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through puberty. <laughs> um, I'm Lily Clambers, <laughs> um, and I'm a Los Angeles-based voice actor. You can hear me in anime like Hunter Hunter. Welcome to Demon School, Rumacoon. Um, I did a Christmas podcast recently called Nicked, where I play Sarah, and it's good for non-Christmas times too, so I really, <laughs> <laughs> you can still listen to it if you haven't got it yet. I also, uh, Francesca mentioned that um, a dear friend in the voice acting community, Brad Venable, passed away yesterday, and he was a mentor to me, and we worked together on the Voice Wars series. Uh, which Aiden Rudd put together. So if you want to check that out and see some of Brad's amazing, um, I, just not even as an actor, as a mentor and being that bright pillar to the voice actor community, I would really suggest you check out Voice Wars. And I'm also in it. <laughs> and I really loved getting to know Brad there. Thank you. <laughs> Glad that you guys just brought felt comfortable bringing that up yeah. also he loved uh role-playing games and board games that's why i'm like i forgot to say he would be so happy we're doing this now <laughs> um and if the message hasn't been clear enough please 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 don't take any moment for granted if there is a lot of loved ones in your life you may want to take every opportunity just to reach out again and let them know how much they mean to you um just wanted to make sure we brought that point home before we got down to a little bit more business before we started. Um, 
as always, uh, if you're still unsure what system we're using, uh, I'd be confused if you're, you're this far in, not sure, but we are using the Valor Heroic RPG system. Uh, one of my favorite systems of all time, lots of customizability on both the player and GMs and allows for a lot of creativity, fun, and all around just memorable time you can have at your table. Uh, if you want to be up to date with all the news for the system, check us out on valorousgames.com. Uh, as well as you're interested in a digital PDF edition of the system, you can find us on Drive Zero RPG. Uh, we have a Patreon, which is a great way to support the show. Uh, I'm sure we could get the link up for that as well, patreon.com slash Valorous Games. Early access information, uh, including lots of techniques, rules, system extensions you can add to your games on itch.io, as well as merchandise and a lot of things you could buy that also help support the show on Store Envy. I hope everybody who was interested took advantage of the promotion we did last year um i want to thank a lot of people behind the scenes who work on the show austin mckenzie uh co-creator of the system and all around super swell guy uh does his best to always support and look after us as well as uh help us behind the scenes i uh, can't thank him enough uh all the stuff with managing the stream and making it look and sound as good as it does is thanks to Charu. It's never an easy job, and I cannot highlight enough how hard uh, she she is working uh, when she does everything for the streams with us, so definitely big thanks to her. Uh, the art you see on this show for the characters is done by Six, very talented artist, uh, and all the NPCs that the uh, characters interact with are done by Hart Butler. Uh, both talented artists, please go check out, support their work if their commission information is open. And without further ado, I think I'll go ahead and cover what happened last time on Valor Live. So, we flash back to an earlier time when Callan was about six years old as he prepares to, for a good night's sleep. His mother walks in and does uh, her best to start winding down Callan and wishing to finish a bedtime story that she began nights prior. As Callan's mother starts telling the story, we peer into Callan's mind as a... Uh, he crafts the story for us as we listen to his mother, catching us up on a fight between Jian Lao and the fox spirit known as uh, Hui Jing, who lured Jian over to the mountains to, in an attempt to eat his soul and possibly run rampant thereafter. Uh, we see Jian unleash his signature techniques such as keen eclipse as the fox spirit does the same, putting Jian in a critical position in the jaws of the spirit. Just as all hope seems lost, Kalen's mother told Kalen about a vision Jian's saw as he tried to fight back. It was of an all-powerful dragon known as Fei Long, who struck a deal with Jian uh, while telling the history of dragons and the power that they command and are even sought after for. Fei Long offered to lend their power to Jian, but in return, he had to promise that so long as his bloodline remained, that very same bloodline would in turn help dragon kind. As his, as his vision faded, uh, Jin's Guan Dao becomes enveloped in circling wind and bright light as he unleashes his ultimate technique, divine aerial enlightenment onto the fox spirit, ripping it to shreds and putting an end to its terror. We end the story with Jin thanking Fei Long, cementing his promise and continuing to use it for the greater good. Callan becomes so enraptured by the story, reenacting it with fun gestures and sound effects, making evident to his mother just how much he aspires to be just like Jin when he grows up. With his mother supporting Callan's dream, she tucks Callan in and wishes him goodnight. We flash a little forward to Callan surrounded by greys, using a key to open a special site within the same graveyard, where he lights some incense and starts speaking to his grandfather, as he accounts on his path ahead to become a cavalier and maybe one day a knight. Flashing even more forward, we peer into the party meeting in Gemma's apartment as she introduces the party to a close family friend, Tara Vasquez. Uh, she tells Gemma that, uh, and the rest of the party about her continued efforts as she becomes a knight through schooling here in Calibri, but also letting her thoughts uh, be known regarding the unfortunate events that have been taking place recently. Uh, it was an overall pleasant night, full of jokes about knighthood, name brainstorming, as well as a last-minute conversation of sorts taking place about the taking place uh, at the Cavalier and Guild Knight Guild Hall of Calibri, with an event sponsored by the Red Sun themselves. We flash uh, forward to the next day to see it's become highly popular and learn that the Red Sun has been taking advantage of the general's public concern for safety. 
Elaine notices Lescano hanging around, which seems rather odd. But after taking uh, talking to him, a feeling overcomes her that, nah, it's probably fine. Uh, Kellen scopes out Full Throttle's self-defense lessons, as Full Throttle seems to be uh, heading the charge of reopening Cavalier trading, where we learn a little bit more uh, through Kellen's questioning that Full Throttle may be using it as his own end to figure out the truth regarding Grey Matter. Bazon meets up with Louise, and uh, both feel conflicting and strange vibe from the gentleman running sales. While Gen uh, Gemma helps pull Alay out of her weird trance, while accepting Koshia's invitation to give a speech to the public, reminding them to take extra consideration regarding their and the public's well-being, and pushing many people to leave for the day while cheering uh, uh, the speech as a whole for such a thoughtful message. We would return to right after that speech, but uh, we got something else in store. Is that too loud? Maybe. Let me turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we flash back even further back in time. Uh, as we see in a public little gym in a sparring arena, a familiar face uh, duking it out with another individual. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, Faison, it's probably been, uh, hmm, you, you would know best. Uh, this is probably near the tail end of this fight. What's kind of been going on in your, in your own words? Bitter tail hatred. End. <laughs> Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter hatred and jealousy between these two as Faison is going up against his older brother, Lucius Kane Jr. And they both have different motives for why they're, for what they're doing. As for Lucius, he just outright wants to please his father and also in the process just straight up hates Faison for who he is being the uh, bastard child and he just can't stand them. and Faison is just like can't stand nobody in his family and just wants to get stronger just screw him why he just everyone feels like he's either being used or just has abandoned him as the blows keep uh, be uh, being exchanged it's very evident to a lot of people who uh, taking the time to observe the the sparring match that you guys have put on. Uh, while it seemed very even at first, Faison, uh, things have been pretty clear that out of anyone who took their training and uh, their uh, experience in Capoeira fighting more seriously, it was definitely you and not Lucius Kane Jr. Uh, it becomes very, very difficult. Uh, for Lucius to start keeping up. It's not... It's honestly more evident where throwing out signature techniques would honestly just be even a little too much. Lucius Kane is not in the position right now to really uh, <sighs> defend against these kind of blows. Come on, brother. What are you doing? I thought you wanted to beat me up so bad. I thought you wanted to humiliate me. Tell me to father that I'm not worth it in this family, which I don't give a damn for anyway. This is pointless. We shouldn't even be having this fight. You're not worth it, like I said. And you want to talk. Look at you, huffing and breathing. You're catching these blows. Someone didn't take their training seriously. I'm not even fighting at my fullest, and here you are. You want to come up to father, and this is what you do? Come on. You're gonna I have would, to do better than that. I wouldn't call it so fast. All right, then bring it. I do will. Do something. Um. I'm right here. 
and I think Lucius tries to, uh, we talk about underhanded, tries to sweep him off his feet, maybe, with a kick. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... I did not prepare. <laughs> I thought we were doing a fight scene. <laughs> I, know. I was like, I, I prepared that. <laughs> I I didn't know how deep we're gonna go into this fight. We don't have to. That's okay. We can do whatever. <laughs> I was under the impression that this was a very one-sided battle. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't sure. But no, you know what? He can you, fail. We, we <laughs> could, no, this is oh. great. There's a te there's a skill you guys don't know about called dirty trick. <laughs> I know this in the book. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, for let's see. I Impromptu stuff. I love putting our DM in this position. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for trying to role play. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's perfect. You know, it's perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> I, w I wasn't, I, I, I got some mixed memos about this. You know what? I got an idea. Don't worry. About <laughs> We're going to go ahead and give me one second. I'm going to get, I'm, I'm gonna sorry, get... Zach. No, this is my fault. <laughs> I should have clarified a few things. Don't, don't assume because you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> I love that song. It's very catchy. Beautiful Thanks. song. I think uh, I learned it in kindergarten. Is that what you learned? I'm pretty exactly sure. Those yeah. Words. yeah. Uh, the DM anthem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the national anthem. Okay. Uh, this is kind of unfair because uh, you know what? Lucius Kane, level five. Let's give him some fun <laughs> little stats here. Uh, this probably makes the most sense, and <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry I'm about sorry it. for kicking my brother. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. <laughs> this is you know what you don't want to talk about how prepared Lucius Kane is. This is how unprepared he is. <laughs> uh... He forgot to prepare his stats. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I really thought this was a one-sided fight. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I You're... thought it was like the ones that he tries something, but then Faisal's like, no. <laughs> we got some stamina meters. That one sided. We got some stamina meters here. Do not worry. On top here, uh, we got we got Faison. On the bottom here, uh, we got Lucius. Uh, here, here you go. Lily, do you have access to uh, the sheets? Let me see. You should. Yep. I... Looks like I do. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna... You're gonna do a dirty trick, right? Yes. What do I roll for that? Uh... Go ahead and roll me... Strength... Strength or dex... Strength or dexterity. Okay. Either your raw power to kind of sweep them, or uh, kind of underhandedness with the uh, quick movements. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, I wanted it to be a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want it to be a failure? No. Because <laughs> guess what? It was going to be a failure because the num the number you needed to be was definitely not high enough. Okay. Um, as you go ahead and go for a sweep of the legs, uh, this is very easy stuff for phase on. Uh, Cowboy fighting specializes a lot with being able to fall to the ground, fall right back up. As soon as, as you quickly knock the, the strength out of phase on's legs, it's as quickly he's able to roll and bounce back up to your side. Uh, phase on, the floor is yours. Healy, <laughs> that's all you had. Really, that, that that's all you really had. Dirty You'll trick. See. <laughs> that, come on, come on, you. I come in here to beat your ass up. You give it your all, trying to please father. 
and this is what you do <laughs> to take over his traditionalist faction to please him. Not that I don't care. I don't give a damn. But you're not do you're not gonna cut it with this. And honestly, I don't care what he does for you. I'm doing this for my own personal gain to get stronger. And you're not even close to worthy, you bastard. Azon, as Lucius of uh, filling that role, Lucius position to his meter. There's an opportunity. There's an opportunity here to either uh, go for a win in a couple of different ways. You could either go for a more class, a more uh, classical win of putting your opponent into a position where he has to surrender, or going even overkill, pushing his meter down even further to a one, and end this as if you're gonna embarrass him. Um. There is someone else watching this fight that both of you know. Is Phazon aware of this? Or, or was Lucius aware of this? Or were both of you aware of this? None of them. None of them. I thought I would bring that up uh, just in case it mattered. But yeah. Mechanically, that's either do you want to push your meter up and kind of have like more of a Phazon like... If we're thinking phase on win versus Lucius is lost, what's what tagline sounds better to end this fight? In Phazon's mind. Phase on one. Okay. Not as underhanded as what Lucius would probably do this to you then. So, so what are your plans? I'll be like this. Lucius, bro, I'm giving you one last chance. Surrender. Surrender now, or this ain't gonna be pretty for you. I'll never surrender to you. Okay. You're not even my brother. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come at me then. Come at me. I think with all his strength left, he rushes at him. I don't, I'm not gonna do an attack for that. Phase on smooth. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, the, you know what? The way we're gonna play this then? Uh, it, it sounds like Phase on was get, surrendering his turn to you. Mm -hmm. And even with this opportunity, it doesn't sound like Lush, it sounds like Lucius knows in his mind, he's, he's talking this up. And he's gonna try to make an effort, but there's something telling him in the back of his mind that even though he knows this might not even succeed, right? Yeah. I I think if you don't want to choose to roll for this, then um, we'll push that meter down to a definite one as you start to spring back again. Phase on kind of uh, dodges to the left. Uh, is able to use one of his capoeira moves as he dances around right to your leg, sweeps you kind pretty hard. Your balance as you charge at him is quickly lost. Um, it's not a hard <laughs> fall, but you land rolling right off of the mat outside of the ring. There is no referee that needs to be here to call anything. Even the people who were just working out uh, at this gym are able to kind of see. The victor here is clear as day. And Lucius, the fight is over. Uh, I think at this point, there is our sarcastic clap. Like from... a golf clap? Yeah, the... <laughs> what? What? Y'all don't like me anyway. I don't give a damn not one of y'all. Oh, Damien, you decide to show up. I don't give a damn about you. Good. You're not even Look worth the time of day. And you're not worth my time either. None of y'all are. Well, whatever you say, bastard child. Yeah, keep yapping. Keep yapping. Keep all that yapping. Try to I keep think me uh, down. Damien uh, 
at this point, kind of snarls a little bit. He goes, ah, whatever, phase on. Yeah, keep that energy up. Keep it up. Look, look at your prodigal child here. This is what you choose to represent you? Not that I care. Blood doesn't choose. Oh, that's not how I see it. Hmm. But anyway, I won. Whether I get applause or not, I don't give a damn. I just care for my own personal gain, my personal power. To, pr to satisfy myself. You don't give a damn about the family. Why should we care about you? For that same exact reason. God gave me all the reasons not to care only for myself. But hey, it's all good. It's all good. As long as he's still around, brother, I can continue to humiliate him. And you guys all at once. But you can run back to father, tell him the news if you like. I don't care. I will do exactly that. Excuse me. I think Damien storms off. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Bye. I mean, <laughs> Lucius is still on the ground. He's he knew what was coming, but I think he's still shocked and breathing heavily after all of it. You seem shocked, <laughs> but you don't even train seriously. You think this is gonna be given to you? <sighs> I'm my father's son, aren't I? I'm that your older me. brother. It should be me. Should have been, should have been, could have been, don't care. That's not how it works. But knowing Father, he'll love you more than anything. So, me, I'm just happy to improve for myself as I find out answers that I need to find out that I won't find out here in this uh, so-called uh, family that only cares about political power and being knights for all the most corrupt of reasons. Someday you'll realize that power in our family is all that matters. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe someday I will. When I stop giving a damn about it. You could care. I won't. Especially when you start splitting people away from uh, their family. But I don't think you know about that, do you, brother? <laughs> Half brother, I should say, actually. Let's get going. We're done here. You're right, we're done. We're done. As each of you take a better leave to this moment. Something that Faison probably doesn't know about, but an important event in Lucian's, uh, Lucius's history occurs. As we switch over into uh, the Kane family manor, inside one Lucius Kane Sr.'s office, as a uh, family has gathered with some important news that needed to be de delivered. Glad you two are both here. More, impor more importantly, my eldest son here. My blood, Lucius King Jr. Yes, father. I understand that you want to inherit my faction in the traditionalist for the traditionalist however you are still not ready I may not be at all your sparring matches or at anything you do with your brother Faison but he does have you bested in everything so what are you saying he's ready 
if you want the answer. Yes, I have chosen Phazar <laughs> to succeed as the traditionalist faction leader over my faction. What are you doing? He'll burn this family to the ground. He's not even a traditionalist. Damien, shut up. <coughs> I am speaking to my son here. <sighs> He's right, though. Is he? Because from what I've seen, you do not have what it takes yet to run my faction. Then I'll train harder. I'll surpass him, you'll see. How long will that take? And, and I'm saying that because I haven't seen anything yet. The one in charge should be me. I have our family's best interests at heart. I care about our power, about this family even. He doesn't. That's not my concern. My concern is who I see, who I see fit to run this faction. And I don't give a damn about your feelings, Lucius. Let me make that clear. I chose him because he's the most fit and ready for anything to come. Do what if he I... refuses? I don't deal with what ifs. Is there a problem here, son? No. There's no problem. I don't feel that way, considering the way you're huffing and puffing. You're the head of this family. This decision is yours to make. Any mistakes the family makes are yours to make as well. You better watch your tone. Now, you better take your leave. You look like you need to clear your head for some fresh air, because clearly you're not thinking clearly. All right. Goodbye, father. Bye, son. Damien, come here. Yes, sir. I do not ever want to hear you interrupt me like that again. You understand me? This is personal family business. Of course, sir. My <clears throat> apologies. Good. Now you two take your leave. I have some things to sort out. I chose really phase on this is this is on Lucius senior going on in his head right now it's his personal space I know that phase on won't do this but I have something in store I don't give a damn personally about phase on it's his unusual power he's that I want. That power I will need from him someday. When he unlocks it, I will have that power and take it from him. And Eden Pollitt, those bastards, they'll be mine. I swear, Eden Pollitt. I may have just had my faction, but I will take over you as well. Just you wait. <laughs> but until then, I'll have to bide my time. Faison, you are my key, whether you want to be or not. <laughs> <laughs> that should be all.
I just want to clarify one thing. Um, as we go into this next scene, uh, is Lucius Kane alone? Or is he accompanied by Damien? He is alone. Okay. We flash a little forward. Again, something that Faison wouldn't be the most aware of. As Lucius Kane Jr. goes to kind of clear his head as he walks uh, outside through the market. And as he keeps walking, head kind of in a daze with everything that's going on, uh, a gentleman makes himself very apparent as Lucius bumps directly into him without seeing him. Watch where you're going! <laughs> well, you can say I certainly am. I've been looking for you, Mr. Kane. What? There's too many people around. Over there. Follow me. I think there's some information that might be of use to you. Information, huh? All right, then. So, I'm sure you have your own questions. I'll give you your grace and I'll let you allow you to start. What do you yeah. want to know? Who are you? That will be apparent in due time. All you need to affirm, all you need to do is refer me as strong. That should be, that should suffice for now. All right then. So you're gonna let me ask my questions and then not answer them? As I said, you may call me strong. A testament to what I could also give you as well, Mr. Kane. I'm listening. I come from a very powerful organization that has made them, has been putting a foothold uh, within the provincial areas of a master, most notably Florian. You may or may not be aware of the Eden Pollock family. I am. And what do you know of us? I know of your power. I know my father's interests in you. As we are aware of his. Our roots in all things known about this world go deep. There are many things mere mortals do not worry themselves about. For we had even Pollock make great efforts to understanding, cultivating, uh, taming, if you will. Your father has that very same eye. And so our paths cross one way or the other. And whether he likes it or not, he's been making himself known in our circle as well. And we have grown concerned. Oh, yeah? Let me ask you a question, as you did I. Has there ever come a point where you think your father might be losing a bit of his decision-making ability, going off and making decisions that are questionable at best and dangerous at worst? He yeah, is getting up there in age. Some of his decisions aren't the ones I would have made. That is something that we have come to figure out as we've been watching your family, Mr. Kane. You see, I think there is a way that we could both benefit from this situation. We, from what we know, we would not like the proceedings that we are aware of to continue as they are. I think the world would go about in a dangerous direction should I not intervene. And so what do I, you suggest? An alliance of sorts. 
I come to understand that you want to have all of your efforts recognized and that there is a power within you that has failed to come out most likely not under the right guidance I feel your father hasn't recognized this you are very capable Mr. Kane very capable indeed only needing the right hand to guide guide you and put you in the right position of power and that is what I offer And what do I have to give in return? Your father has already laid plans in place to acquire a certain power. One that even the Eden Pollock family has yet to fully comprehend. And as you may be aware, a lot of fear and danger in this world comes from one who does not understand what they might be dealing with. My organization is very well versed and equipped to deal in such matters. And I also think you would definitely be one who is in the prime position to help us better understand it and even cultivate it for yourself. I only ask that for all the favors I will be doing for you to get you this power and get you all that you desire you serve us and work as an agent for us when the time comes so you're asking me to betray my own family i never said you would be betraying your family you even said it yourself mr kang you have been questioning the judgment that your father have also been making your father is not maybe part of your family but he does not call every single shot the family will die, Mr. Kane, should it not have a strong leader who stands in the way to help those in the family. Your family would not be betrayed. It will be fulfilling its greatest purpose, all because of you. You have to believe me when I say that and understand everything I'd be telling you to do. You not walking away leads me to believe you or at least understand where I'm coming from. You at least want to know more. I do. I'm considering it. I think I'd like proof before we go any further. And what proof shall suffice? <laughs> proof that you'll get me this power. As I said, Mr. Kane, your family has already make, made the moves to get in possession of it. I will just only be helping you finish the same steps. And, and believe me, once you acquire it, trust me, even Paula will do everything in its power to make you the perfect catalyst for it. The perfect individual where everybody can understand just how great you really are. <laughs> That keen intellect that your father has been underestimating. That sheer force of will and determination that even your cousin Damien fully understands and supports you in. As well as the seat of power. Not even in this quaint little town you have here. But a cushy little seat somewhere. In a master. Where important decisions are always made. Your seat is all but guaranteed. So, the man reaches forward and offers a hand. Alicia takes it. Perfect. Let us begin. Let us begin. I'll be contacting you in the next coming days. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Kane, I'm sure I do not have to tell you this, but this meeting did not happen. Of course. Have a wonderful day, Mr. Kane. And you too, strong.
soon after, as Lucius ponders everything that has happened, we do actually see something that has happened uh, with Faison. Uh, Faison. A certain individual called out to uh, meet you and discuss things. Uh, they call you out into the park. Hopefully a good change of pace and nice scenery for whatever might uh, lay ahead of you. Hello? Is anyone here? I'm here where you requested me to be. Another voice from behind the bushes just says, Face on! Over here! Mother? She kind of like stands and moves. Mother? Face on? Thank you for joining me. Shall we sit? Yeah. She kind of walks ahead, looks at the sky, and says, Do you think a storm is brewing? Kind of sits down. all times why now she kind of sighs and her hands and she says I know that things have been more than tumultuous between us and that's put that's putting it lightly you've barely been around yes well your father didn't make it exactly easy, did he? She says, and she says, That is behind us. Or I hope it will be. If you I, will. I hope so, too. Can't stand that bastard. Hmm. You and I have that in common, I think. <laughs> I know then things have... Then Sorry. why did you two get together then? I still wondered that. I you suppose. never told me that. Well, I suppose he was interesting. Different. He, I knew he was married, but there was something about him that was impossible to ignore and I believed that he felt the same about me but things have become clearer as I've watched you as I've watched him as I've watched his progress and his trajectory and the way he's handling the way he handled me and you I know we handled. have our differences handled he discarded you like trash yes I'm aware thank you and he will do the same to you if you are not careful. If he hasn't already. He'll like do he, worse than that. I'm sure. Like he gives a damn about anyone other than himself. Perhaps not in the way that would be as we'd hoped. Or as you'd hope from a father. Faison, you must be careful. Things are moving fast, I fear. And I never told you, but surely you felt and, and that you've had seen things, sensed things. Have you not? Because, yes, I... Yes. I have. Yes. Yes, I've, I I've discovered that. that. I fear that it might happen. And I fear 
the stronger you grow with those powers, the more your father will come after you. You see, I... I also contain such skills. Care to go on about this? I didn't want to, want to tell you because I thought I could protect you, but it's clear that that's not possible. I was, or I am, rather, a shaman. And I have inherited, or rather you have inherited, my spiritual shaman-like powers from the si my side of my family. Oh, hold up, hold up. I'm a shaman? Yes. It's, um... What? what, what, what did unexplainable, you... I... I don't know how it happened. It was not a family trait. I was, in fact, it has caused me trouble as well. I was outcast from my own family because of it. I know the feeling. Yes, but see, the difference is that your father is probably working to try and use that power and use you for his own gain. Like hell he will. Yes. Like hell he will. I'll kill him before he even tries. I do not advise that you do. I think it would be safer for you if you left. If you stayed and and didn't confront him, if you hid yourself. Like hell I will. As a matter of fact, I'll go back and kill that bastard right now. And she she kinda like holds out her hand and uh, to touch his arm to try and comfort him. But as she touches him, she kinda like jerks her head back, um, kind of goes still for a moment, and closes her eyes tightly, and looks like she's having, she's seeing something, um, and by the furrow of her brow and the way she kind of like shakes her head, it's not, it's not a good vision, whatever she's seeing. And then she kind of just she. Snaps out of it and breathless and holds on. <laughs> and she says, no. No. You no, mustn't what? go. Faison. If you... If you confront him, he will destroy you. He will take that power. He will use it for his own. I have seen it. You... What? And she, she kind of, like... Shakes her head and the grip continues to grip his his arm tighter than she probably normally would. Um, since they aren't very close, it's not like a motherly uh, grip, but kind of like she's clinging on to him, like she doesn't want to leave. Um, but there is like a what a hint is going on? These powers, our powers, you can do so much with them. You can, you can sense spirits. You can summon souls and and possession and 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 learn about things that may otherwise be hidden from you. You know, and you've barely been around. Why? Should I trust you? I want to, but why should I trust you? Because I am your mother. And I know I haven't been around, but... My son. You are... The only thing, really. 
in my life that I care about. And if something were to happen to you, I don't know what I would do. Yeah. Come to think of it. I never ever once had these conversations with that man that calls himself my father. Only time I had him this type of conversation this heartfelt face to face is with you he will not give you the chance if you go back to him he will destroy you and use you and your powers for his own gain and I no I don't say it enough or indeed never have, as much as a mother should. But Faison, I do love you. Mom. I'm sorry. I know we've never had the best relationship from the start. And I, and I realize now, it's not your fault. Let me make that up. And she was gonna, walks over and tentatively puts her hand on Raison's cheek, kind of softly strokes it like she's seeing him for the first time or exploring his features for the first time. And then, kind of like, brushes her hands over his shoulders, kind of looks at him, looks at the man and some she's be he's become. And then uh, she like slowly, gently pulls him into a hug. Tell me, what's it like being a shaman? It is unexplainable in some ways. You'll always feel like you're a stranger in the world. But it's also beautiful what you can see, the feelings of those around you, the spirits and, and the world in between that no other person on this earth could possibly explain. Knowing that you have the skill and the ability to harness and change so much depending on how you use it. Especially <laughs> well, when you're ready you'll find a certain state a soul state deep within your soul. It's like a transformation beautiful and powerful like the earth nature life and death kind of like being in tune with everything and including yourself you say mm. yes which is what he wants Help him in his own game. Well, he won't have it. I will make sure he doesn't as well. But Thank you, you 
You okay. must... You must follow your own path. Escape this world. Escape your father. Do what I could not. Used to be here. Thank you for meeting with me, Mom. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I hope in the future we can meet like this again. I hope so too. Much more often. Yes. I would like that. Yeah. And they stick around a bit just to see the scenery as if this thing might be the last. This is probably one of the nicest, uh, one of the nicest memories you probably still had here, Faison. Until a couple of future events occurred all around you but that is another story one that we may explore sometime in the future the story as of now takes us back <laughs> music change no it's a dance party <laughs> <laughs> That's it's the it's the Cavalier Guild Hall music, or so it just so it shall be. I oh. like this track. No, oh, yeah. As a quick little refresher, <laughs> last we saw this little moment, Heartshine gave a rousing speech uh, to again kind of let the kind of let the general public know a little bit more about what's important and the caution they should probably take, especially in this messy time, which didn't derail too much about what was going on, but definitely helped uh, send people, uh, or definitely had people second guess themselves of why they were even here in the first place. Almost a weird and eerie wake up call that echoed uh, throughout the general public as of itself. As I remember, that was, that was uh, Heartshine's turn last we met. So I think uh, we have Kazuri, Alay, and SP before uh, Kosha might have something begin. Kazuri, uh, was there anything pressing at this moment you wanted to get done? Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to go and run to Phazon because I learned something, but I don't remember what. <laughs> Um, we did take a large okay. break. <laughs> yeah, it's very um, character though as where well. My notes are so I'm just gonna run over to Faison <laughs> and very in characterly <laughs> be like Faison, 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 Faison. Okay, 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 okay. I understand. Let's try try to make them too much of a ruckus. I got your okay. attention. Got my attention. Yeah. Right. Um, the Mr. Um, few uh. Mr. Uh, full throttle, sir, uh, he was over there. I was fighting him, but not actually fighting him. I was just like, you know, sparring or something. He was trying to teach all these people. And then he, um, he told me something. And there's like a blank face just over. <laughs> you there, kiddo? Uh, oh. uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. Uh, something about, um, um, I don't know. It was just very, uh, it was very interesting fighting Mr. Full Throttle. Um, Francesca, he's, he's, I would help you, but it's so like much. 20, there's like 20 <laughs> things I did. I know, I, I think it was about, um, uh, something about how he, did Full Throttle get like hired or something? <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Um, I thought you already knew that. Yeah, Full Throttle admitted um, that he was hired under Volcom. And right. he did tell you that part of the reason of why he was accepting Volkov's offer was twofold. 
One was to figure out stuff uh, going on with Grey Matter. Two was to take advantage of any power Volkov can offer him. Right. For some reason, I have a feeling that wasn't it. <laughs> but, but let's it, go with it didn't have anything to do with the mind control, right? No. Uh. I don't think he told him about the mind control. Okay, yeah. We were I, working on that. We were we were working yeah. on that, but I don't right. know if that was another thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just going to go with uh, something that Polkarado said. Um, <laughs> okay. So, can you repeat what you just said? <laughs> he, he, he accepted Volkov's offer to get more information about what happened with Grey Matter and what the story was behind his mind control or not. Two is an offer of power to full throttle and to and his own little personal gain of wanting to gain power from Volkov, which you know is to outrival Alay. Right, okay. I uh, do not know what else he told you. I don't know either. Because those are the big points that he Y'all, we should have had a watch session. Uh yeah. We should have I should have had my notes. Um, anyway, I'm, so, I'm sitting here like, I cannot think for the life of me what <laughs> else he told I feel like it was something really important, but maybe- That's what he would- I, but... I have my notes for the session of what he's supposed to tell you guys, and that's what he's supposed to tell you guys. Okay, so it was something about that. Okay, anyway. Um... Francesca had a chat with him off screen. <laughs> yeah, I had a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Callie did it, Francesca did it. Yeah, it was a Callie. It was Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and Kajuk would be like, uh, oh yeah, so I was fighting this. And he like lowers his voice because he sees that they are not alone and there are more people around him. He's like, I'm fighting Mr. Full Throttle and I thought he was like trying to join Mr. Volkov because he's like just wanted power or something, but actually he's undercover and trying to learn more about Mr. Volkov because Mr. Volkov offered him immense power. What that power is, I don't know. Maybe it's like a new like weapon or something since they have those around here, but um, he's working hard to like basically infiltrate um, Eden Pollitt and learn more about Mr. Volkov and his works. Um, and maybe we should do the same because I mean, I don't really like Eden Pollitt, obviously, but um, maybe it would be beneficial for us if we, like, like, um, uh, infiltrated Eden Pollitt and pretended to be one of them, and then we can learn more about them. Don't tell Mr. Full Throttle that I admired his plan. I still don't like it. But I think that's a good plan. You gotta look that face on, like, expectantly. Okay, that sounds nice. How do you plan on going about that? Well, this is like a career fair, right? So maybe there's like a sign-up sheet or... I remember what it was and it wasn't something that he told me, but I was remembering that about Faison's conversation with this person. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, you're misremembering this conversation? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. I, 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 I told you it was Francesca. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, could, yeah. I could tell you exactly what happened between Faison and this dude, too, if you need. Yeah, I remember thinking that this guy was suspicious, and that that was what that was what it was itching at the back of my mind. So maybe Kyle was coming over here to get him away from Faison. Yeah, I think I had, <laughs> just... like, a whole plan. <laughs> he just forgot what he was doing. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, hey, kiddo, you, you can't, can't you see I'm, uh talking to somebody right here. Hello. Kind of like, looks over at, fa at behind face on the desk. Oh, um, hello. Uh, you didn't hear any of that, did you? <laughs> hear any of what? Yeah, exactly. Um, we're all good, Mr. Faison. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's quite all right. Um, is there anything I could do to help 
either of you two. We're gonna play this as probably if you two have any actions you want to take together separately, and then we'll go over to LA. We're gonna scramble this around. <laughs> I didn't want to stop you because like, oh, this is the cool, cool Kazri SP moment, and I don't think LA is gonna mind anyway if we. I'm good. So if there's anything on your mind <laughs> is it that right you want to accomplish. Um, kind of like looks around to make sure there's and he like leans forward and puts his like arm on the chair on the table and like leans forward inconspicuously but it's totally not inconspicuous um and he just goes like um, are you in charge of the sign ups um uh if you're talking about that hooligan over there in his self-defense classes um well uh i he, he looks at another piece of paper the the red sun corporation is not liable for any damage or injury <laughs> that would be sustained for any improper use of taught techniques or cavalier training <laughs> however i'm not the one who handles those signups um, I believe it is that little fey creature inside who does the sign-ups. Oh, for the class? No, no, no. I meant for the sign-ups. You know, like, for the Red Sun sign-ups. Like... Oh. We... Oh! Yeah. Oh, for a possible night sponsorship. Yeah! Oh, it's very... Uh, it's very kind of you to want to go ahead and become the knight. I'm sure you would make a fabulous one. Uh, if I could just go ahead and get uh, your name and contact information and parental contact emergency information. He reads another piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, my name is Kazri. Well, that's not my real name, but that's my code name. Um, my social security number is 347... Is that what you want? Uh, no, no, not social security. Um, that, that, not that information, uh, would give me in, a very much a lot of legal trouble, or so I am told. Kazari, this has been going on long enough. I want you to make either an aura or a resolve roll. But if you make a resolve roll, it will be at a minus two penalty. Okay. Well... <laughs> My aura sucks, so let's go with resolve. Aha! 17. Perfect! Uh, deduction's gonna move up to 10, which is gonna complete a lot of things, but I don't want to cost a later turn. Yay. Um, Kazari, you know this person immediately. It's, it's on the tip of your tongue. You don't, you can't figure a name, but you're like, that, he's so familiar. God, where, where, where did I meet you? Up. Uh, did, on, did you babysit one me, me one day? <laughs> did ah uh, did I see you at the supermarket with mom one day? Why do I know you? But why can I find your name? Cause it's there. It's super there. But you can't draw the name. If you could, if you absolutely could draw the name, you would. But you can't. You know him though. He is someone deeply familiar to you. I'm pulling out my trading cards. And I'm just gonna spread them on the table and like look through them. Oh yes, I can see why you want to become a knight. These these trading cards are very fashionable, is that the right word? Collectible. Um, they're collectibles? But yeah, uh, are you a knight? Oh no. Uh I don't think I have the full capacity to actually be a knight. I'm nearly not strong enough. Phase on this is a load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like you found out with Louise, that statement is a big red lie because while you can't detect his uh, how much power he has, it's a it's a lot and little at the same time. Again, nothing you've ever experienced. There's something weird about this dude. Kazari, Kazari, come here. Come here. Uh, uh, okay, Come here. don't touch my trading cards. And he like goes over to this. That guy 
you may not be able to send people like I can. He just told you a lot of BS. That guy, I can't get a full grasp. He's a lot stronger than he appears to be. Trust me. Oh, really? I mean, I, I know I saw his face somewhere. Um, was he somebody that we, like, arrested? Or, uh, was he at Wonder, um, Works? Or, um, uh, maybe he got me Shirley Temples? Anyway, I know I've seen him before. I just, uh, I can't figure it out. Something's off about him. We should... Question him more. You know, like, good cop, bad cop. You can be the bad cop. I'll be the good cop. Oh, wait, or I could be the bad cop. That would be interesting. Your call. Uh, okay. I'll be the bad cop. You can be the good cop. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna... Slam my head on the table. Be like, listen. I'm I don't listening. know what kind of. I don't know what kind of trickery or like weird things you're playing around here, but, but, you guys are up to something, and we're gonna figure it out. By you guys, I assume you're referring to the company I'm working under. Uh, the yeah. Red Sun Corporation. Yeah. Yeah, the sponsors of this career fair. And if you don't tell us, I'm going to get some people here who are going to beat it out of you. You might want to do that. Like and him. Also, uh, I mean, you could say that, but yeah, something was, I don't know. You seem like a very strong fellow yourself. Oh, please. No, I, I could barely lift a toothbrush in the morning. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't want to have to sick this. I don't want to have to make this kid sick the the the, the big guns on you. But I'm not fully buying the fact that you're as weak as you say you are. From what I understood, any threat of violence is something I'm supposed to report as a potential breach to security and have you escorted off the premises. However, I think that would be very detrimental for all of us, and hope that we can resolve this uh, more peacefully. SP, uh, Phazon, SP. Uh, what exactly did you want to get out of this uh, conversation? Uh, we already handled Kazri's little role there, and we can use this as kind of uh, a springboard for you as well. Was there something on your mind you may have wanted to ask, accomplish, bring up that we might be able to mechanically frame in some way? Yeah, it was just one of those like, hmm. I, I can't get to the bottom of his power. Like, I know he's so much stronger, but how much, I don't know. It's just something do you want do you want to try to break that barrier especially? yeah okay uh are you gonna spirit sight it spirit sight it yeah one stamina plus two to your aura roll give me a roll also because your deduction is at a 10 i'll give you an additional plus one and this is more so just to give you information able to finally cement uh, his power just uh, pretty damn well. Um, it is it is otherworldly. It's not purifier class, but it's up there. Um, definitely he's an immortal of some kind. You're able to nail that down. He's some kind of immortal to be able to carry that much power. And especially just watching the way he speaks and the way he's able to kind of manipulate everything going around him and make it so hard to feel him out, it starts to be a little clearer. You don't, ha you never had many encounters with mortals as of yet. There's a few offhand, 
but he's definitely an immortal of some kind. Mm. Okay. You are... You're pretty damn strong, I dare say. Again, no, toothbrushes are my mortal enemy. Both yeah, toothbrushes are an enemy of an immortal, I should dare say. Uh, as soon as you mention the word immortal, his eyes glare at you with the scariest expression you have ever seen from this emotionless man. Uh, the, the, re the read on his face is very apparent, and it's don't say that word out loud. You got me. Do not say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Kid, back up. Katri, back up uh, here right now. Yeah, uh, I'm going to grab my trading cards before I back up. Thank you. And I'm, I'm in his here like, glare when I said that. Um, yep. He was really scary. Um. Oh, trust me. It's not just scary. He, he's that power he possesses it's up there in the class of purifiers. Oh. Remember how strong Boss was? Oh, yeah. And he kind of like clutches his train and goes to me. Oh, he's, yeah, that was. Do you think he's like a purifier? No, I don't think so. Trust me. An immortal? Yeah. Uh, he kind of like looks back over at him and like stares at his face. <laughs> that dude has got insane power. Trust me. He's actually working for Red Sun? I have no idea. I have zero idea. I wouldn't rule it out. Um. Just don't say that again. Alright? Okay. Mm, I'll be more careful. Let's yeah. let's mix the bad bad cop with good cop thing. I don't think it's working. How about this? How about we some other people here. Yeah, okay. Um, I can go find Heartshine and um, Olay. Yeah. Oh. Um, Speaking bye, of Mr. Lay. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> nope, just gonna say bye, Mr. Uh, Bliss guy. <sighs> <Run away. laughs> um, let's go ahead and give Olay their fair turn. Olay. Last yeah. that, less that happened, uh, Hartshain came by and kind of shocked you out of a weird little trance with Laz Kano. There's a weird feeling going around. It felt like everything was on the level with them. But Hartshain kind of reminds you, no, it's not. But you were aware of this feeling, and it's wi it's wiggy. It's wigging you out. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there a way I could snap Laz Kano out of it? worth the shots. What, <laughs> what do you think? I don't know what I would roll. <laughs> hmm, it sounds to me like, um, well, we know, you guys know if there's anything that might influence the mind, it's probably magically based, especially mm -hmm. from your experience with like Eden Pollitt and that same kind of uh, realm. So most likely an aura or an intuition roll, I would okay. I guess. I think, um, this is also like happening right after Heart Chain's speech. Um, so I think uh, Bren is going to like uh, grab his hands, like, you know, in a magic way. <laughs> and like, um, you were listening to what she said, right? Um, and I think I will roll intuition. Okay. <laughs> 16. Um, as, as you kind of, like, uh, expand, like, expand your magic and kind of, uh, it's kind of, this is the most apt comparison I can make in the nerd of me. You know, you know, like, in the tuning exam when the sand village attacks and Sakura snapping Naruto and Shikamaru out? 
That is the most niche <laughs> reference I can make. But it's kind of like that when like someone snaps you out of a genjutsu. That's kind of what you do to Laz Kano right now. <laughs> is you kind of put your hand on his shoulder. Feel something is off. Um, you take it back to his badge and like, ah, this is tiny. And you take a look at it. It's not exactly the same catalyst that um, Eden Pollitt were working with, but almost as if like a step above, like a step above, like a prototype level. All this in the span of a couple minutes, are you able to figure this out? And it it's almost as if you're talking to a brand new Lascano. Like, it, Ale? What? Yeah. Where, where are we? Um, it's this, uh, you, you, you're working for Red Sun. You're doing the bodyguardy thing. Where? Where? Do you not? No, I, I'm a, I'm a police officer. Why would I need to extend myself anywhere to the Red Sun? Who told you that? <sighs> You did. I knew something was wrong. No, I, no, I didn't. If, if I, if I told you that, how come I don't remember? I don't know. I don't know what happened. What do you remember last? I, honestly, I, I remember checking in on that Volkov dude, uh, by going over to his corporation and. He asked to see my badge and polish it, and actually, from there, I don't remember much. He must have done something to influence you or take you over or something. There's something here that's trying to get the rest of us, too. I wanted to make sure you were safe, because it's better to have more clear heads than something like this. Well, this, 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 this thing looks important. This He points like every everything going on. <laughs> this all looks important shit I, i'm an officer should i shut this down is, is this weird enough should i go and tell him that, we're, that i could shut this down Who, who's in charge who's in charge of this cavalier business um i i don't know if we should raise a scene yet um oh. Oh, oh, okay especially because the everyone i i don't know if we want them to know you're normal you know i don't know there's there's a lot of mind games and chess going on <laughs> but I think we should lay low for now. Um, maybe you could contact the police force, just, you know, the sergeant, and make sure that she knows what's going on. I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and try to get to the bottom of things and get the news out that something weird is going on and that people should def be careful. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm gonna go figure that out, if, if you don't mind. That's, yeah, that's a good plan! That's why you're you're <laughs> you're a cavalier, and I'm 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 still a green police officer. And I'll I'll be in touch soon. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I think from there. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're gonna take a break here. I want I wanna set up something, but I don't know how long this next action for Volkov is gonna take. It could be five. Or... Do we want to take a break now, or you guys want to see that scene and then take a break? Um, I think we could probably take a break now. Yeah, I think it, the tension's good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's break now then. I'll be about fifteen. Everybody as normal. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Okay. And uh, we are back. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your break. Uh, we go right back on to the next piece of business, which is going to most likely be... Oh, it's... it's I mean, having a bad track in turn order. Uh, Mr. Volkov, you guys are very well here, and you're definitely going to get that reward of that 10 re reduction in a second. However... Volkov is, uh, this is, this is at the moment when Hartshine, you finished your speech and everybody was like kind of applauding and leaving. This is taking place kind of at that moment as well as at the same time SP, uh, Kazari and the Lay were kind of doing their, uh, their turns. Uh, Volkov kind of goes up and walks to you and, uh, starts applauding and was just, wonderful, well done, well known. Very glad I extended that invitation. Reminds me a bit of that one little speech you all gave oh, back at that museum that was robbed by one of my unfortunate ex-employees, wasn't it? Of a similar message, if I'm not mistaken, from what I heard uh, from the general public, am I not mistaken? Don't worry, take your time. Uh, you, are you there tomorrow? Sorry, I, I accidentally muted myself. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Volkov was, was just applauding. I was like, <laughs> wonderful speech. It reminds me a lot of that speech you gave back at the museum that that unfortunate ugly business from a next employee gave me. Uh, touch on some similar themes about putting the power in the hands of the people and doing what good you can with the time you have. Am I not mistaken? <laughs> yeah, well, I have some ideas about how things to be run, yeah. Oh, I, well, if we are uh, to be interacting more in the future, I'd definitely love to lend, lend my own ear and shoulder and hear what you mean by that. Hmm. Well, boils down to people in power are all corrupt. And there should be checks and balances uh, where the, the people have the power in all things possible. Like, you know, a police supervisory board so we don't have these uh, majors getting rounded up, maybe? <laughs> oh, trust me. Like, I'm, I'm definitely sure that once all the political election business is underway, there's going to be a lot of police restructuring and even the... Uh, the chief of police himself of uh, the whole province would be able to speak up about what he's going to be doing. I'm sure oh, he... Oh, well, I hope so. Business. I can tell you right now, as a, a person in, as a person in a position of power myself, it does get very taxing having to clean up the messes of all the horrible things that... Whether or not it be up to those people in positions of power, sometimes it's the corrupt people who do the do, do the dirty deeds themselves. I hope you, I hope your foresight and thoughts about people in power doesn't extend to me. But I will always understand your. Uh, I can understand if that is going to take a little bit of time and trust to actually develop and see. <clears throat> I am resolute in my beliefs, sir. <laughs> I'm very glad for this partnership we have, Miss Artshine. I feel excuse me, I'm very busy, thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, as as you are, and but def just remember now, Miss Hartshine, you and I will be working much in the future. And just like that, the four of you blink, and something weird happens. Is this the right track? I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> mm. Wrong track. Mm. Uh, let's use this track. I like this one. Mm. 
No, 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 no. Can I dance to this one? We're not gonna dance to this one, maybe. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, Zach. not a danceable song. <laughs> You know, you know what? I'm absolutely wrong. I apologize. You dance to whatever song you wish, Lily. <laughs> like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We see something uh, that only the four of you get to see. Um... You're not sure what this is, where this is, what's going on, but everything feels really heavy. Uh, standing before you in this murky mess of darkness stands the individual that Kazari and SP, you two are familiar with. And SP, the words you've gotten from this individual uh, rings. If you don't remember from last session, he said something along the lines of, when the time comes, do not be afraid to open your minds and let in the rush of power that's going to come through you. I promise everything's going to be okay. It was something like that. It feels like this is exactly that type of situation. But as of now, it feels like the four of you are almost waking up from a really long sleep. <clears throat> what? Just what happened? just happened? Where are we? I apologize. It's definitely taken longer than I thought, but... I must say, I was right in need to put my trust in the four of you. Have uh, we met before? Yes, we have. I knew it! <laughs> You're someone I'm surprised who hasn't recognized me yet, young Kazari. <laughs> Are you a mortal wind? The one and only. That's <gasps> why it seemed so familiar. <laughs> You just knew there was something in your about you. Form. And, oh, I'm sorry. Um, as he, um, I'll make that a little bigger. Is is this something <laughs> you would uh, prefer to see? Yes. Because there's like tears streaming down his face. <laughs> Whichever yeah. form makes you more comfortable. Yeah. You're a little less creepy guy in the corner this way. <laughs> I'm. I'm so glad you're okay. Now I get it. Yo. Now I get it. You couldn't come in in your normal form without causing a ruckus. What All were dragons. you there to see? What All did dragons. you need to find out at that event? It was less to be able to find out something, but more see what kind of motions the four of you would be setting in stone. Kazari, you might remember this best. You, you and I, along with your friends, when you freed me from um, the Gesh, you knew it was an event that was going to come to be. I told you this. Mm -hmm. Magic all forms of magic is very powerful. The one thing it cannot do is change what's always already transpired. It is something that a few choice mortals are trying to figure out an answer to. And I only dare to see the day where I may fear that may have actually come to truth. As of now, it's a worry that we don't have to trouble ourselves with. But to answer your question, I was more so there because that very same day was going to set up the events that the four of you might have done to help protect the city you've been working so hard to make an effort to right every wrong you've encountered. In ways that you may not know it or not, each interaction you 
you've made with those individuals have cemented that. In the time that sh the four of you have been sleeping, more or less, a lot has transpired. Olay, your interaction with that law enforcement officer has, for better or worse, caused a bit of an uprising within the general public. Uh, oh, I I'm sorry? <laughs> It's not as bad as you may seem, or it, it, it's not as bad as it seems. Yep, I don't seem bad. <laughs> they are doing everything in their power to expose everything wrong with the Red Sun and shut them down, at least their operations in Calibri once and for all. Kazari, as that buffoon has been working, he definitely stuck his nose in places where it doesn't belong. I'm sure that's of no surprise. And as we speak, he's already causing a lot of problem for the Red Sun. You might be able to encounter them very soon. Well, that's but good, right? It is. At least for what we were about to, to do once I'm able to let you all wake up. Aren't shine. Your actions, along with delays, has helped spark this resolu revolution of sorts. But at the same time, your actions have put the idea of protection and making sure that no one gets hurt while all this transpires. Elsewhere in the city, I believe the name Vasquez, I believe, is already working to make sure that people are safe and sound. As long as she's okay. I, I'm, I'm not sure how long we've been sleeping, but... Only a mere few hours, thanks to the work you've been doing. My ability to wake you has come as fast as I could expect it because of you. Though at a cost to myself, I'm still recovering, as you will, from all of... All the damages I've sustained escaping from that basement of sorts. And you, SP, you're the one I have to think the most with that immense power you carry beneath you. Something even mere, even even the immortals don't quite understand. It is, it is not in my place to ask you to reveal any of your secrets, but. I thank you very much for giving me the ability to recover more and more. Even if I may have scared some of your compatriots, such as that one with the eye patch. I don't think you scared him. He was just, let's just say, skeptical. Regardless, one of your actions have set in forward. A change of faith, if you will. A motion and a change in faith, the same one you did to free my guest and allow me to escape the very day you stormed the Eden Pollard abode. And this is where that turning point also comes. This is the moment to shut down this branch of this company once and for all. And I'll do everything in my power to assist you and break you from slumber you've all been under. I've learned a little bit more as I disguised myself and infiltrated the Red Sun while I was recovering my power. And he's accomplished a dangerous feat. The ability to influence the mind with almost no evidence. I'm sure you already seen parts of that. While I cannot give you back everything that has transpired when you were sleeping, I could at least break you from the slumber that you have been feeling. But once I do, uh, I encourage you all to act quick. You will appear inside the Red Sun headquarters. You all know the way to that man's office. I'm holding him off as best I can, but 
I'm not as strong as you once first encountered me. Rush over there as fast as you can, but be warned. There's definitely... There's definitely an uprising of sorts, all thanks to you. But everyone in there... Everyone will be doing their best to keep themselves safe. I'm sure they would appreciate the help. Just let me know when you're ready. And you shall awaken. Wait, so we're sleeping right now? I think that is the term that best describes everything going on. Oh. You are, yes. All you would have to do is just make your way forward. A lot of that is going to be just... Using your power and getting to that man's office. Again, I will be waiting. Your actions were not your own in the time you were sleeping. Okay. Well, hope. Right? I, I only ready. hope you would. Of course. Alright. Get ready then. You shall awaken very soon. And as those words uh, leaves his his mouth, uh, you all start to awake, and you have one task uh, in mind. As Immortals Wind's words were very clear, get to the office. Let's have everybody roll turn order once again. I'm gonna do it right this time. <laughs> <laughs> I figure now's the time to learn. <laughs> the second to last episode. Still bad roll. general public who have made their way inside of the building um Alay, uh upon your person seem to be the garb that most resembles red sun soldiers you quickly dispose of them as, as these people in the general public try to push uh past you and cause more trouble for the red sun until this point, they just thought all of you were normal Red Sun employees. However, that's probably not the case as of right now. Also, all of your valor is zero, except for uh, Kazaruch is one, because it's a new scene. Oh. Yeah, so, before I forget that... Rip. Uh, <laughs> Faison and uh, Kalman, both of you seem to be... Uh, from what it looks like, trying to control the crowd as secretary workers, while Heartshine, you're partly uh, holding the door from the general public storming in. You guys have to get past, but it would be bad news if the crowds did. As you hear a lot of gunfire and electricity from the other room. Archshine, it is your move. The overall task right now is just to find a way to get inside while either calming the general public, sneaking your way inside, um, showing your true colors, whatever you feel appropriate at this moment, but you're the first to awaken the fastest. What What is your move? I think, um... I will try and rally the group, um, and maybe, like, uh, just yell something like, Stop! I- <sighs> I'm 
I'm sorry, I haven't been myself. But you have to listen to me and just like kind of plead with the group. Um, okay. The people start to recognize there were a lot of people here who were at that uh, rally at the Cavalier Guild Hall and they recognize your voice like, oh, wait a second, does that heart? That's heart shine, no! Heck yeah, they're, these, these people are on our side. Um, everyone but this one officer is kind of start to feel that, but go ahead and give me a resolve roll. It seems to make the most sense. And I'll give you okay. a plus one for the speech you delivered last scene. Okay. Uh, so with the plus one, it's an eight. Um, so unfortunately at this time, while, while you are able to rally them, the message isn't exactly the most clear. Mm -hmm. And while they're kind of bullying this guy and pushing him to the uh, couch, uh, disarming him, doing everything in their safe uh, ways to be safe to make sure nobody gets hurt, these people still are kind of trying to get through this door, and you know that is a bad idea. Um, to kind of motion these people past might take some extra doing, okay. which, Kazari, you might know how to do. Okay, well, taking a, um, a page from Heartshine's book, Kazari's gonna kind of run over here and be like, Wait, wait, wait! It's dangerous over there! We just want you guys to be safe, so why don't we all just calm down and, and let the professionals handle it? Kazari, uh, unless there's like a skill or flaw that might impact this, uh, I think this could be a standard roll. It sounds like resolve, though, so give me a resolve roll. Okay. So, yeah, I have no skills that would help um, in this. Okay. So, resolve. There's just a regular resolve roll. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, with that, um, uh, the crowd starts to kind of catch a little bit more wind about just who exactly you as Cavaliers are. Uh, there's a lot of chatter like, wait, no, I, I recognize you, kid. You remember that group that rescued me from that sickos' basement? Someone also uh, speaks up. Oh, wait. Yeah, no! You guys also helped us when the cops were running in. Heck yeah, no! <laughs> hey, guys, you don't need to worry. I think we're just causing these people problems. Sorry, sorry you guys. They all start to kind of uh, move away. And the four of you are able to move forward into the next encounter of this scene. As uh, you see one Mr. Full Throttle going hog wild against uh, these Red Sun agents. Lightning is being shot everywhere. Let me go ahead and add these guys to turn order, turn order now. Um... Ugh, I can't believe we'd have to fight with Full Throttle. <laughs> <laughs> quite, we were all put in red sun uniforms, so Callum was just like a little boss baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no! <laughs> too short. His, like, sleeves. His oh, sleeves man. are too big for him. <laughs> The uniform does not fit right. The, like the legs are all rolled up because they won't fit. <laughs> yeah, the sleeves just hang over his, his like, arms. <laughs> These are the important things. Yeah, <laughs> these are the important details. things. <laughs> uh, full throttle is rolled. Let me go ahead and roll these red sun agents. Uh, rolls. This will be for these guys, and these will be for these guys. We're on, I believe, Faison's turn regardless, but we'll at least have them in the turn order. Uh, so... Let's see. Faison! This scenario is, by all means, a brawl. Um, so movement rules will apply. Uh, it, 
part of it is either finding a way through these doors or incapacitating all these red sun agents so that moving through the store is effortless. It's your move. Okay. Full throttle. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> a little mischief and chaos. Took you guys long enough to snap out of your little trance. Now help me put these guys in the cement and let's get through there. I'll cover your asses while you go. All right. Oh. Or am I going to have to do everything, <laughs> you little weakling? Um, your ass down. Oh. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words, friend. And until until I see some muscle moving, I'm just gonna feel you as a little weakling. Come on, you dog fighter, prove me wrong. Okay. <laughs> we gotta incapacitate at least a few of these gods. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to go up to here and engage a bit with him. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you rolling? And I'm going to use Banshee Strike. Go ahead and roll me Banshee Strike, and they'll try to defend. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of challenge seats. Never mind. Um, your Banshee Strike uh, definitely connects. Uh. This uh, guard, similar to the ones you fought at the museum, of all of the weaker variety, they're not really meant for a lot of uh, close uh, quarters fighting. More likely, likely to fight from afar. But as soon as you advance, you strike them. Uh, you know what? Heck yeah! Uh, it immobilizes them. So as you defeat him and he feels his body go into a state of temporary paralysis, um, you're not going to strike. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Take a valor for that. Uh, as as he starts to lose all all power in his body and goes limp, falls onto the conveyor belt as he slowly starts to move uh, with the machinery and fr and this de deadly machine with a warning sign on it. Alay, it is your move. Great job, SP. That's what I was gonna suggest. <laughs> <laughs> you got um. it. Alay. You know yes. What? I like I like that little team spirit. Give me some valor. <laughs> okay, it's exactly. I was thinking the conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I see that. I want to work with that. <laughs> um, okay, now I actually have to think of to do something. <laughs> now that's been done. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. What's my movement again? <laughs> Sorry, I have to check. I'm done. Yeah, it's four. So, <laughs> All right, um, maybe you can move four spaces. Diagonals count as one. Okay. I think I'm going to move here. Um, okay. <laughs> and then I am going to use just um. <laughs> let me get my sheet open. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I forgot I was next. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no. I am going. <laughs> Very weird when the leg goes last. I know. <laughs> I should be used to it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use Saber. Just the regular one. <laughs> uh, this and I want to push. What I'm trying to do is push him back onto there as well. Oh, you want to. Mm. All right. 
I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you attempt to do so, but your roll is gonna take a minus three. Oh, uh, okay. If you want, just because your technique isn't designed to reposition. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, he is, is minus three too hard. I'm gonna say two. Minus two. Uh, I don't want. I don't say no. I'm a yes and kind of man. Uh, so. He's gonna try to substitute with dexterity at the very least. Do not roll badly. Damn. Uh, that with that penalty to try to. Yeah. The idea of like, oh, that was a great idea. Try to push him. Yeah. Uh, that little split second of thought that the laser attack gave this guy just enough time to just dodge a little bit out of the way. Darn. I was gonna say, maybe a point of interest though to uh, expand your arsenal on another level to maybe That's true. To push people around. Uh, next up is gonna be Full Throttle himself. I've been waiting for <laughs> time to play Full Throttle in a combat. Uh, oh if goodness. we ever do like a retrospective behind the scenes, I got a lot to talk about Full Throttle. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, he's gonna use a support action um, to range multiple targets. Cool. To use magnetize. Uh, this is this is a flaw that he's going to range for. He's gonna hit this person in an attempt. So we're gonna have to get there. Their defense roll. Give me one second. Um, they, don't, they, they can't substitute in this because it's a weakness. So, Aura? At least I don't believe that's how it works. And one more. I keep hitting, forgetting there's an Aura defense button. It probably comes into play in a little bit. These two are marked with weak aura. Any aura-based attacks has a plus one to hit these guys, which is great for him. Um, Cause now he's going to use, let's see. Shock and ah! As he uh, screams out and shoots. Holy! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Damn. If, if these people roll badly. <laughs> um, he was targeting this this guy up here. He's gonna try to peek a substitute dexterity because this is a tech, this is a damage technique. Oh, lucky you! Uh, but unfortunately, as full throttle goes ahead and unleashes a powerful lightning bolt uh, through uh, through to hit this gentleman, it immediately knocks him to the ground as well, and he is incapacitated. I should have known the lead. I'm just gonna turn his thingy red. So I can just. Can I go back? There we go. Tint him red as his body starts to shake and jitter from all the electricity and goes uh, incapacitated. It is now these. Uh, some of these guys' turn to return fire. Sure. Um. Uh, a very familiar technique. A uh, smoke grenade is going to be thrown out. Um, and it's gonna position itself in front of Full Throttle in LA. Let me get a little tool to draw. We'll do that, because I forgot to hit the uh, make a square button. <laughs> Ew, stinky Full Throttle. Um, I need Full Throttle in LA to roll Intuition to Defend. This looks like anti Full Throttle. <laughs> anti Full Throttle. <laughs> do not interact. <laughs> This is stink be gone that he's throwing. You got throwing it. <laughs> it's a can of Axe body spray. My rolls today. Um, oh, you, no. are, you are able to push past being slow. Is Full Throttle going to? His intuition is not very good. Let's see. I suspect it. He did better, though. He did good. My rolls are so bad. It didn't no. help. It didn't help that uh, my 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 little guy here rolled really bad. 
It yeah. doesn't matter though. He has he has an action here. Uh, and he's gonna go ahead and use let's see, line line attack. Line link. He's gotta move up, doesn't he? So one, so that'd be one, two, three. He's gonna go in here. Ooh. Um you guys are gonna be defending against this at a minus one, because this is a zone of darkness. Uh, unless you have anything that could counter darkness, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's this little uh, quick reference. As he's gonna use concentrated fire against full throttle and away. Okay. I need you guys to defend. That's the roll I need <laughs> <laughs> against this. Hey, fire. hey, knock those good no. rolls out. Stop it. Yeah. I'm gonna roll a one again, aren't I? Full throttle is gonna take that 45 damage minus his defense. Okay. And that's a crit! <laughs> oh no! Uh, so, Alay, as this, uh, this smoke of Axe Body Spray starts to obscure your vision, <laughs> you are, you are definitely not aware of this, uh, Red Sun Age's shots as you're gonna take 45 plus you're gonna take 65 at least i'm a tank <laughs> you're gonna take 65 minus your attack okay or your defense sorry okay at least i'm a tank <laughs> we can't see you and we probably heard that like impact <laughs> yeah jeff is just like no <laughs> 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 That's my really good uh, sound that I do for voice acting. <laughs> right. That was amazing. That you was your time for me forever. That's what death rattles are like. People don't know this. Um, Alay, I'll give you this. I'll give you this little point of information. Okay. Uh, it seems like these guys aren't affected by the smoke grenade. Probably part of their mask. Like a stormtrooper. Like, like a stormtrooper. <laughs> no missed shots here, fellas. Why didn't we get that? Uniform. <laughs> yeah. Uh, top yeah. Around. Everybody, <laughs> including full throttle, take a valor and heart shine. It is your turn. Okay. So, um, want to deal with? Hmm. <laughs> I think. I think heart shine's probably not transformed yet. Um, mm -hmm. I, I imagine because she's been working for Red Sun, they probably have her in like some sort of uniform or whatever, but that means she's not actually transformed. So, uh, she's going to go, uh, reach up to her earring gem, uh, and activate that. Um, I guess maybe a, like a support action. It doesn't really take that long to transform. It's just like a spin around. Um, and the first thing she's going to do is... Uh, march over to that one outside of the darkness zone and use an axe kick. Okay. Um, so, part of your transformation, I need Austin to throw me a bone here. Is, uh, it gives you health. You're not hurt, though. Um, I don't know if I should overheal you, though. Uh, I'm gonna let Austin decide that. Uh, but otherwise... Um, this is just like her regular transform. Oh, is say. it? It's just her regular transform. Oh, okay. My, we're not, we're my... not, we're not going over till just yet. Oh, uh, okay. I, I was mistaken. <laughs> Car carry on. Okay. You yeah. Can... That's why it doesn't take long. <laughs> well, you're definitely um, out of this icky, gross costume. And yeah, I do... can't stand it. And also, I can't use my abilities except for, like, kick. <laughs> So as he is going to try to defend, I believe it's a dex roll, so, uh, uh. unfortunately, this guy is just fine. on fire. He is oh, able man. to uh, hop a little bit, hold on to the crane arm of this to pull himself out of the way, pull, and then, like, uh, ride it back and starts laughing. <laughs> Don't know how you guys woke up out of that little thing, but you stepped into the wrong house. You should have just stayed in your little slumber. 
I'm just warming up. Kazari. Uh, okay. Um, is this like, is this a table or is it like a car? <laughs> uh, this looks like, uh, some, like some type of like truck vehicle, uh, used for transporting goods. Uh, this guy's probably blocking it. Here's the, the passenger Oh, seat. I see, I see. Seat. Okay, got it, got it. Yes, okay. But this is a, so... it's a little off. Um, it's, it would be hard to kind of get your movement in from this side. Right, okay. Um. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Okay. Um, if I move. One, two, three. Uh, and I'm gonna use Cataclysmic Crater Cannon! So this, how, like, how high up is this truck? Like, how, how, would I be able to like jump on it? Hmm. I like, I like that. I was going to give you a plus one to this, but the hop, to hop up and not have this impede your movement, I'm going to ask you to give me a, a strength or dex roll. Okay. As part of it. Uh, Otherwise, are you, are you standing here or are you trying to like move up here? I'm trying to move up there so that like the attack can land kind of like in between. Because Cataclysmic Crater Cannon is like a ranged kind of attack, not ranged, but like a radius attack. It, it's a it's a it's a range of the blast, yeah. Um, yeah. You, you kind of throw your guan down and let it explode. Yeah, I was trying to get up, but like happy to try throwing it too. <laughs> Whatever makes more sense. For um, yeah, if you want to hop up, I'll let you. Um, I think you upgraded your technique where even from here, uh, it would work. Um, just, um, to let you know, uh, similar to kind of the, uh, uh rules from, like, the car, this truck is kind of giving these guys a little bit of defense, and this Got one in particular is obscured by the smoke. Okay. So yeah, so he only I can only see this guy on the left, basically. Clearly, yes. You can still target them. This guy's okay. just a defensive buff. And it's okay. like a closed space with like a roof over it. It's not like an open like Jurassic Park vehicle. <laughs> oh no, it's it's open. It's open. Oh it is open. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try jumping in and uh, landing and like attacking this guy and like hopefully this one too. Okay. The other one as well. uh, um so, so like hop up let's say like here then yeah give, give me a dex roll and if it's high enough i'll give you a plus one because i like this idea okay and it reminds me a lot of like you uh car hopping and building hopping when you kind of <laughs> toss the situation so i'll give you a plus just one. hopping okay uh 18 plus one 19 and we're tr we'll treat this also as an elaborate action you guys haven't seen a lot of those. If there's anything like role play that you see in the environment, things you want to spice up with the way you approach combats, we'll treat it as an elaborate action. As soon as you succeed, which you did, I'm gonna give you a bonus on this. So I'm gonna give you, um, let's see, elaborate action, just so I remember. Um, I'll give you an additional plus one to hit or an additional damage increment against these guys. Okay. Your choice. Um Actually I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna screw you over there. These guys are similar to the one phase on encountered where they're not that beefy. The damage okay. would not have helped you. So I'll give you the plus one to hit. My apologies. Okay. No problem. Um okay so he's gonna like jump up and be like Oh get a the greater cannon and like mm. We'll see how far that goes. Uh, it was a 12 plus one, so 13. All right. Uh, these guys are going to defend. So one. Uh, <laughs> and two. Even with that plus one hit, that one guy was able to squeak by. Um, that, let's see. The one in the smoke, though? Because that would have been... He was in the smoke, so he gets that bonus. No, you you clean him. You clean house Yay. with this guy. Uh, out from the smoke, 
you see uh, his body kind of and like uh, sweep back as your Guandao uh, leaves a great big impact on this vehicle. This guy was able to uh, dodge a little bit out of the way, especially being close quarters and this being a uh, more of a long range blast attack initiated by Juan Dao. Had a little bit of good cover, so unfortunately he dodged out of the way. But another one bites the dust thanks to your cataclysmic crater canyon. Yay! He's gonna like look in and be like, oh, I uh, didn't see you there, but hi! <laughs> uh, time for this guy next to Lei and Harshine. So what he is going to do is it makes sense for him to turn to a lay who might not be able to see this coming. And he's going to use a little CQC. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Anya. Uh, so you need to roll dexterity defense. And if you fail, uh, he's also knocking you down. Uh... <laughs> um, is there anything I could substitute? Uh, in, instead of dexterity? Yes. Yeah. Um, you could substitute, uh, everything. Let me, let me pull up the GM quick reference, because even I forget sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. I believe in you. Um, you can substitute your muscle, but you'll you'll take some type of damage regardless. Um, I'm mostly wondering about intuition or resolve. <laughs> intuition, you can. Your um your your turn order is gonna drop by two until the next round. Okay. Resolve, you could do without a penalty because you have two valor. Okay, I will do resolve then. All right. Um, let's see. So. Your defense is at a minus one just because you're in this uh, thing of darkness. And ties always go to the attack initiator. <laughs> Zach, you just hate me today. <laughs> no, those damn <laughs> <are> rules. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you thought you were able to catch him outside of the smoke. Um, you saw figments. Unfortunately, so you're gonna take that 40 damage minus your defense as you okay. go to the ground. Your turn order is also knocked down to for sub that substitution. Or no, no, you no, didn't. I did resolve. resolve. <laughs> See, I oh. told you, Zach, you just hate me. No, that was my mistake. <laughs> That's an honest mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mean to me. I am mean to you, Lily. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, this might be the day we see uh, Lego into critical health. No. <laughs> I have a lot of health. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I trust you have taken the damage. And I'm there, about to, yeah. I'm doing the math. There's another guy. Here's another guy. Uh, he's gonna one, two, climb up, three, four, and um, wants to siphon your approach, too. So he's also gonna throw a smoke grenade. On top of uh, on top of you, Kazri. That okay. is rude as heck. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna get the right tool this time. And there we go. This isn't stinky, uh, boss baby. Get out of get out of here. <laughs> uh, smoke. This is regular smoke. Just in, in, you know, bubblegum pink form. So, Kazri. <laughs> Um, I need you to defend against a 10 intuition. Well, I, think I, I think I can throw you one here, though. And well. that is because, um... Uh, because you, uh, have two Valor, you could substitute, uh, Resolute, uh, use your Resolute Defense and use, uh, your Resolve and no penalty. Even for uh. a weakened technique like this. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, let's do that. Cause, uh, wait, you said intuition, right? Yeah, it's still not great. I'm gonna substitute and get rid of my valor. Oh, uh, you don't have to get rid of it. Oh, then I'm just going to substitute. For a 12. Okay, I 
hope I'm not butchering the rules here. Oh, somebody yell at me if I am. <laughs> Be um, like, pause the stream! Uh, um, but anyway, um, with the 12, you're able to negotiate out... Uh, you're able to negotiate out the smoke. It is obscuring your vision, but you don't feel burdened by the smoke at all. And your, uh, the slow to act flaw does not apply. Yay! It is at this moment you recognize that he has a gun. <laughs> oh! And it's going <laughs> to use breach and clear on you. What? Okay! Oh no, that's a crit! Uh, wow! If, if you roll badly. So this is... Okay. This is oh, your roll there, guy. Oh my goodness. A dexterity defense. He did accomplish what he was gunning for. He got you in the smoke. So you are going to take a minus one. Oh my god! Spout. It's not a crit. And he probably would have hit you anyway. But you're going to take 50 damage minus your defense. Great, 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 great. This is like the first fight I've ever had to be advantage on. It feels nice. <laughs> Wow, Zach, that's so great for you. <laughs> wow, Zach, yeah, we love you so much. You're so, I'm so good happy man. for you. Yeah, I'm glad you're having a good session. <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited for these guys to win and report to <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> We're so and, and no season two. <laughs> no, no season two's about them. <laughs> We're all gonna play them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I tried to throw you guys some bones. Here's another no, it's bone. Fine. It's fine. it's fine. you have a skill to uh, <laughs> to make this darkness not a problem. I'm sure you know danger what it sense. is. Danger sense. Not danger sense. Spirit sight. There it is. <laughs> yep. And I believe it was, wasn't it active from the previous? Uh, it would be active from the previous. A new scene started and you guys were um, asleep for a long while kind of mind control. So you would need to reactivate it again, but it's only two stamina to do so. Alright. Um, activating my spirit sight. Oh. Anybody in the zone of darkness is of no concern. Uh, you also uh, wouldn't have to worry about the defense penalty for standing in it. The what? You also wouldn't have to worry about the attack or defense <laughs> penalty for standing in the darkness. Nice. Uh, so... What are we... I forgot again. So... Hey, Kazari. No oh, one no! <laughs> Hockey mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I, it's, it's been long enough. Just because I forget is I no excuse know. for you to forget. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll re what do I? I uh, remove my valor. You more lose two valor. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Go off next turn. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting, SP. Uh, Go right ahead. Very important. <laughs> Taken to double check the range of one of my techniques. Okay. Yep, just had to double check. <laughs> yep, move up here and are right, both of these is he? This guy right here. Well, actually, you can't see him. You can hold your mouse and ping them, and I can see what you're pinging. Is he incapacitated? Yes, if they're in a red tint, they're incapacitated. This guy should be incapacitated, too. So I'm going to mark him red. There you go. Uh, so the ones still standing in your way are this one next to Alay and Hartshine, and this individual uh, on top of the vehicle with Casper. I'm going to use Gamma Sphere on this guy right here. Give me a roll. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an aura-based technique in there. I'm not going to roll that. 
there for something, too. And that is a clean hit. Oh, and your resistance isn't good either, bud. Uh, this one definitely <laughs> looks like more of a combat professional to take those hits, though. So he doesn't necessarily go down, but he does take a hefty chunk of damage. Minus 69, plus your measly resistance as he eats that Gamma Spear and starts uh, coughing and just <laughs> <laughs> as you knock the wind out of him with all your spiritual energy just Gamma strike Spear! Yeah! Take a Valor for that. I like that. I like it in the a character that you're doing there. He's shouting your attacks. Uh, <laughs> he, you definitely knock a good amount of wind out of him. Can I take, can I take this time around? This guy. Uh -huh. uh, Alay, it is your turn now. You are on the ground. Yeah. How does that affect things? <laughs> um, from what I remember, uh, being prone means that if you tried to move, your movement would be halved, uh, and you still want to get up if you tried to. Move. Uh, you can get up with a move for support action, and as long as you're on the ground, you take a minus one penalty to your defensive force. Okay. So, what if... <laughs> what if I wanted to crawl through the smoke onto the car? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I like, and not attack, but what if I wanted to take the unconscious guy's helmet? <laughs> <laughs> I like this idea so much. Yeah. I don't care what your movement is, I'm gonna let it work. I don't want to Do attack. It. I think she's t she's like knocked out. She just wants to get out of like yeah. What's your movement to, uh, normally? Five, four. Um, it's four. Ah. So I was gonna go one, two, and then yeah. Ah, that could get you under there. Uh, yeah. Up right here. Yeah, and you're gonna take the guy's helmet and try. Yeah, I like. Is that it. guy yes. unconscious? I thought it was the other guy. Uh, which guy? This guy? I don't know which guy is unconscious. <laughs> They're bo they both are. Uh, oh, okay. You know what, for the sake, sake of argument, this guy is uh, kind of down here. Okay, <laughs> then I'll get this guy. <laughs> uh, um, so that would be your uh, move action to get over yeah. there. If you burn your attack action and your support action to crawl even further, I'll let you reach him, let you grab his helmet, and whatever you have planned next turn, I'm excited. Just... I just want the helmet. I don't have anything to <laughs> Yes, but I would like to do that and grab the helmet you, and put it on. You have it. You have it, and you 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 put it on. And I can see through the smoke now, right? You, you, you that, that, that was what you wanted? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Absolutely. Here is the other thing. When they put her in the uniform, she lost her mask. Does not want the identity getting out. <laughs> oh no. This was very... <laughs> so that's all I wanted. I am so happy that that was your turn. That makes me... You know what? <laughs> Take a Valor. Okay. I like I like this. Oh, this is a great idea. It's scuttle, 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 scuttle. As you just <laughs> Did they teach you how to be a bug in Cavalier School? Little <laughs> 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 bug. She just you, wants the mask. You hear your Very bad. you hear your sensei gray matter words echo in your mind. Remember, Lay. I also <laughs> think. She when all, Be like the bug. when all hope is lost and you need to conquer the darkness in your heart, remember the grasshopper. <laughs> Be the I'm bug. picturing her kind of hitting full throttle as she scuttles out. You throw right through his legs. I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, full, full throttle, Sorry. seen this technique before. The full throttle's familiar with the scuttle. <laughs> uh, full throttle knows exactly what's going on. He's in, he's sitting here like ah. Ah uh, yes, the grasshopper. The crawling beetle attacking grasshopper technique. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes 
That's why oh, you're my Lord. eternal rival. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my oh, turn. Lord, I also like how she didn't like sneak around them to like sneak attack them or anything. <laughs> she just went for the helmet. <laughs> well, now I can see, so I won't have any issues on further turns. <laughs> Full throttle uh, sees that oh, this God. guy is here. He's going to do an elaborate action of himself, uh, for himself. He's going to try to climb up here uh, and use the swinging crane and the electricity running through it to power up his next attack. That's going to be his elaborate action. He needs a dexterity roll to climb up. He's going to take a minus one doing it from the smoke. Come on, buddy. Roll just like all the uh, the enemies. You loser. <laughs> damn it, full throttle. We're like uh, no throttle. He's he's like We're like stalled out. He's he's hanging from the thing oh going back God. and forth and back and forth <laughs> until he kinda gets thrown back. I'm like, alright, that didn't work. He's gonna take a minus one and another minus one for being in the darkness oh, by this dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, uh, don't <laughs> worry. Maybe he should have grabbed the mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he should have grabbed a mask. He's going to you. He's gonna go ahead. No, not that technique. Uh, he's gonna. You know what? You know what they say about lightning, friends. It always strikes twice. Oh my god. That's definitely <laughs> not what they say! It might strike twice. Isn't it supposed roll. to be, it never <laughs> strikes twice? <laughs> uh, as he puts it uh, right into the right of this crane, he's not gonna be in that, in it, uh, a little butt and put heart shine in the thick of this, but he's gonna try to strike this military agent. Red Sun, defend yourself. Roll to defend. You're substituting, did it work? Nope, you're taking extra damage. Uh, let's see. That is the first real hit on this dude. Um, Excellent, somebody hit him. So, uh, he's gonna take an extra damage increment. So that's gonna be a total of 70, plus his resistance, which is, I have too many sheath open. <laughs> But it's okay. He's gonna get back this much health for resistance. And that was full throttles. Extravagant turn. Now these guys get to. Are, are they all dead? They're all dead. Top of the round. Uh, everybody gain a valor. Heart shine. Um, as you know about lightning, it always strikes twice. You probably don't want to be in this area. Uh, yeah. Full Throttle's next turn. Thanks, Full Throttle. I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> you got it! Uh, um, okay, so who is conscious? The dude next to you and uh, the one still on top of the vehicle. That's it. Cause, so this dude on the conveyor belt? He's, he's out cold. In fact, he, he... Oh no! He rode it into the lightning! Whatever! Ha ha ha! <laughs> uh, he's out like a light. Okay, so this guy's still conscious. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit him with my newly upgraded special attack super sparkle piercing heart beam. Oh, woo! Take a valor for that, uh, that call out. That's a... It is a 12 aura. Oh, he's gonna suck. Let's see. Are you kidding me? I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You're not even penalized with the darkness or anything. You, you, that was just a low roll. Um, <laughs> as, as you, you, you put up this machine that's been moving back and forth to a grinding halt. Yeah, at least it did something. <laughs> uh, as you uh, try to pierce him with your super sparkle piercing heart beam, 
unfortunately, this dude um, was the man of the hour when it came to dodging grenades in basic training. Because he is on, I don't know how he's dodging everything. Kazari, it is your uh, turn. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna climb over this car. Excuse me. Yep, yep. Hop down and try and stab this guy just like through the. Just with Hi, Kazari! Oh, hi! <laughs> away? Yeah! Is that you? I couldn't <laughs> tell under that mask! It's to block out the smoke! Oh, yeah! Great idea! <laughs> Maybe I should get one too! Yeah! Kazari says, fighting in the smoke again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this kid. Uh, <laughs> and then after he coughs a little bit, he's just going to stabby stab. As he's coughing, actually, he's just going to <laughs> stabby stab. <laughs> uh, like... Roll me stabby stab. <laughs> 17. All right. This has a great chance of hitting. Hi, that you're in the darkness. So that would knock it down to a 16. Uh, Somebody could lend three valor though, and turn that into a clean hit. And I think someone is in a prime position, but I'm not gonna. Can say. I do it? <laughs> you can if you want to pay three valor. This will hit. If you yes. Can. Okay. I think I, I I'm still on the ground too, like of the trucks. So I think I grab onto the guy's leg to make him not move. So yep. Yep. As, as you pull his leg, uh, and Kazri was about to whip it because of the smoke, uh, your tactical prowess pulls his leg into the prime position to take a nice oh stabby stab. Uh, Kazri's like blindly stabbing as he like coughs. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> He doesn't even know. <laughs> as, as you strike him swiftly with your stabby stab in your Guan Dao, uh, 70 damage, uh, even with his defense, this is gonna... 70 minus defense. Okay, 70 minus his defense. This is gonna knock him out. Uh, as you do, uh, he, stum uh, he stumbles, losing his balance because of Lay's leg pull, falls off <laughs> the truck himself. And now it's just the super soldier dodging every attack. <laughs> only How person did America? Left. This, this, this was Red Sun's ultimate plan. They made a super serum and gave it to one oh mook. The gamma serum. <laughs> Speaking of super soldier, it is now his turn. And let's see. Um. He is going to go ahead and yeah, this he he <laughs> this is mean, he, but he would do it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Uh, one, two, three, four. As he fires a grappling hook over at Heartshine, a similar grappling hook grappling hook you saw at the museum at a hard to pull her into the darkness. No! Oh, no. Uh, was it Dexterity? Dexterity? I'm not okay. thinking Mortal Kombat here. <laughs> <laughs> he does his You're right. get over here. I'm gonna take his stamina call. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you take 40 damage? That, no! Uh, so that was, yeah, that was a crit, if you can see. No, uh, no it's gonna exceed by can. 10 to crit. Um, so, you are pulled, you're not crit, you take 40 minus your defense as you are pulled into the smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe everyone should have grabbed helmets. <laughs> <laughs> see, now Faison, who can see speak, see their souls, and Alei, who has a helmet, is going to save the day. <laughs> uh, uh, tomorrow, if you just want to do the damage uh, for... I time. would. I'm trying to figure out what it would be because I'm bad at math and it's very confusing. Uh, oh, hell. Here's a trick. Right. I got it. I, I'm doing it oh, already. You did it? Okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning math together. Learning. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's rolling like uh, fire. Phase on. It's your turn. I meant the math, but yeah, that too. <laughs> 
My turn? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna close this eve to try to finish this guy off. Alright, you are not hampered by this darkness. And I am going to use Heavenly Rush. That's your that's your one where you move around too, right? Remind Actually me. not. No, I'm gonna use um Banshee Strike again. Banshee Strike? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll keep him uh, square at least if you hit. So go ahead and roll me your Banshee Strike. As he is going to roll um, his defense. Zach, uh, I swear to God. You know, no, Bazon has a great chance to hit him. I hey, Zach! Oh, hey, Zach! Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I think your dice are loaded. Yes. I'm really... uh, this is the super soldier. This is Steve. <laughs> he gets a name now. Steve the super soldier. Steve Stodgers. <laughs> Steve, Steve Stodgers is his, game, is his oh, name. Man. We should try and, and wake him up and get him on our side. Yeah. I think it's a better option. Is he like a knight? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. He's, he's more capable than any goon you've ever met. Are we dealing with Hydra here? <laughs> maybe he's like the Captain Phasma of the Stormtroopers. Alay, you have a helmet, but you're under My the car. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? I crawled into the car. I think it's like, but I was still, I don't know. Um, so, can I get up? <laughs> As a support action, yes, you could get up. Okay, I do that. Yeah, okay, your support action is good. You have a move action and an attack action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, um, my saber three has a smart area of effect, so it won't hit Kazri, I believe. Thank you, thank you for pointing that out. Yep. Thanks. Yes. So, um, cause I think we discussed that another time and we're like, does it have that? And it does. So we're good. So <laughs> I'm going to do that and not hurt him. <laughs> so, um, out, out of the smoke, I rise up with my little mask oh and my go, God. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> I swear to God, Zach. <laughs> he is oh, not man. gonna substitute this time. Because his his intuition, while not as bad, he does not want to take uh, the extra damage for substituting dexterity. He will substitute the intuition. This has okay, Zach, right Zach, Zach, you're safe. Okay. <laughs> now we just need to see if that did enough damage to, to kill him. Or, oh or my not kill him, but knock him out. You put him at negative one hit points. Steve, Steve Soger, super soldier extraordinaire, has been defeated. Oh my god. By the grasshopper. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> out, you out. did it. Out, yeah. out from as the smoke finally dissipates, <laughs> you see next is Steve Sodgers, a super soldier, a key card for what you can only assume is the next door. We, that fight took a lot longer than expected. Are you guys going to continue with the few rooms you have left? Yeah, I am. I can go, but I also understand if we need to end it here. Do, do we? I yeah. will not hold anybody up. If anybody has to go, we will end here, and we will pick it up next time for the last episode. But you are almost there, I promise you. I this am It was just good. a clown fiesta. <laughs> I'm good. So we're, we're good? We're all yeah, good? I'm good. Yeah. All right. Full <laughs> Throttle turns to, um, the, to the four of you, and it's like, Whatever they gave him, I, I want some. Uh-huh. <laughs> As... Um, Alay takes some of the mask and just hands them out just in case. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh... As things start to get a little dicey, um... You... 
Um, you guys hear from the garage, uh, a couple more soldiers come in. Full throttle turns to the four of you. And I was like, <laughs> nah, my fight with the old man is yours to take. I got this, as he moves forward. I won't let anybody follow you through. <laughs> but don't be surprised if you hear a thunderstorm brewing in, in the wake. Get out of here. Thank you, yeah, Full Throttle. And remember, this we have to fight after lot. this, so you better survive. <laughs> these these I chunks, to see you later. They're no safe soldiers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> 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 Good luck, Mr. Full Throttle. No worries, kid. <laughs> uh, let me reveal the next area. Give me one second. As they leave, he would. Kazri's like, that would be a lot more heroic if we didn't just like try and like fail to spin on the thingy over there. <laughs> Shh, just let let him have this one, honey. Okay, um, I'm just. As you open the door, an intercom starts blaring. Uh, security alert. Security alert. All, lock all lockdown procedures have been initiated. Mounted gun turrets have been activated. Please evacuate the area. Emer and it just repeats, emergency alerts. Um, there is a turret here that looks ready to fire at anything that moves. Uh, phase on as you move up, uh, you duck behind this little uh, military crate as it starts firing at you. Get down! Get down! Uh, it seems that uh, Kostya might be forsaking uh, his own men just to make sure nobody approaches uh, his office. Um, it is, let's see, full throttles in the back. You're not fighting anybody. Top of the round, everybody gain a valor. Um, Heartshine, you lead, you lead the charge. Uh, there's a gun turret uh, okay. posing above this door, and it's the uh, one and only thing separating you from getting through this room. Yeah, I think uh, Gemin's gonna... Uh, uh, she's gonna toss a heart bolt clip at it. She's gonna take it out of her hair and kind of line it up so that like her head is kind of out of the way, but she knows where she's throwing, and just try and like dink at it <laughs> like, let's see if this does anything okay oh still <sighs> okay give me give me a roll for your heartful clip because this is a technique in this challenge scenario i'll give you an extra bonus 16 um so as you do and you strike it you hear the words and like the revving of its chamber start to die you take this as an opportunity. What was that? That would be if I gave you that plus one for using a technique and you paying the stamina costs uh, 16. You're able to take the opportunity and immediately move forward into the next room. It looks like this thing was definitely reinforced and the only thing that that attack did was buy yourself enough time. Uh, it didn't fire on anybody and cause any type of harm but it seems that uh, they might need to also find their own ways of getting in. That might be either a more permanent solution or doing something similar to either rush in, disable it temporarily so they can uh, get through as well. Kazari. Um, okay. Uh, I can... Hold on. I'm just looking at awesome. Let me try. <laughs> also remember so, this round the what you have to do your thing oh yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah Kazi, I clearly what you forgot support action for? <laughs> thanks um <laughs> uh, we probably want to see something cool for her so uh. uh yeah so with awesome let me try i can copy any move that i've seen in the past right and, like, and during the scene yes during this scene Oh, during this scene. With, so that this is all the same scene. Okay, great. Yay! Um, I'm gonna be like, this one's for you, Mr. Full Throttle. <laughs> and I would like to hit the thing with always strikes twice. 
Uh, yeah. Pay the stamina <laughs> cost. Give me, a, okay. give me a dexterity roll. We're not going to have to worry about damage numbers. I'm going to give you not just a plus one. I'm going to give you a plus two for using an electricity-based attack. Woo! Okay. So and I'm going to tell you how this works with Kalen Kazari. <laughs> okay. Um, dexterity, you said? Yeah. That's the one you use for your mimic, I believe. Okay. 18! Plus two, oh. so 20! <laughs> All right. This succeeded uh, so well enough uh, that the way you pull off always strikes twice is here's the thing about the last always strikes twice. It never got a chance to strike twice. <laughs> so... Um, as Full Throttle is about to unleash a deadly torrent of electricity to these guys, <laughs> he doesn't... His electricity doesn't go the direction he thinks it does. Um, almost as if, like, you're using your Guandao as a lightning rod. You soak up all this electricity uh, <laughs> from him as he was uh, about to unleash his ultimate technique. <laughs> oh, no. And channel it through your lightning rod and throw it to this turret. <laughs> With that high of a roll and the bonus I was going to give you, you disable it for a long, long time. It is to the point where it would nice. be able to bring you and one additional person in. Who would you like to... Uh, call out to to also take advantage of always strikes twice the um, other person Alay, you don't to... have a range you have a ranged attack away i do okay i'm gonna bring you with me because you're wow also, like... thank you because <laughs> we stick together um but as we're gonna be like thanks mr full throttle did you see how cool that was that was awesome! I'm gonna use that for next time! Bye! <laughs> he, he's looking in disbelief, like, but, whoa, what happened to my technique? <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as the guards start surrounding him. Freeze! <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Full Throttle! Thanks so much! Uh, <laughs> I'm going I to can grab a <laughs> As you, grab a <laughs> as you and Alay, uh, make it through the door, uh, this the electricity finally gets a moment to uh, surge back, and we are just at a point where Phazon, um, you weren't able to take advantage of the opportunity, but you're the only one missing to go through this door. What would you like to do? I'm trying to get sphere. All right, pay the stamina cost. I'll give you an. The plus two bonus for um, using a technique in the channel scenario. And just give me a roll to see just how impactful this Gamma Sphere is. Uh, no, easily done. Um, your Gamma Sphere, you know what, just for the touch as you're the last one who has to come in here. Um, all the pelting it was taking from Heartshine's Heartbolt Cliff, um, from uh, Kazri's uh, Mimic of Ride the Lightning, and your Gamma Spear overloads this turret and to the point where it just uh, is completely disabled. Uh, this dude uh, was about to kind of run in and try to stop you, but he just realizes that if they, you guys were able to get past here, and the technique that you guys were unleashing to deal with that thing that he was cowering from, um, he, uh, he kind of just goes over to his friend who got knocked out from the gunfire, picks him up by the shoulders, gives you a look in the sense of, look, I'm not gonna hurt you, just let us walk free, as he slowly drags these two out the door. Whatever you say. As you're able to make it clear, it is at this point where everything 
yeah, uh, takes a small halt in the action. Uh, you guys uh, push through and have a moment to catch yourself. You know exactly where Kosha's office is. Um, it is just down the hall uh, to your right and the last door. You're not sure what's actually on the inside though, but you know Mortal Wind told you to meet you there. There is another door to your guys' left. Is your decision though what's pressing? Getting to his office or checking what's behind him? Immortal Wind told us that we had to go to the office. I think that should be our top priority. Uh, we still don't know how long we were asleep for, really. What if, Let's like, get to the office. What if we get ambushed or something? Then we get ambushed. <laughs> I don't know. Then we fight I back. Okay, There's not much else go. we can do now. We have to keep moving forward. Right, we gotta help Immortal Wind. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So I guess we head down the hallway. Nice. I'm like inch in there. What are you no. gonna do to me, Zach? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, you are, if, if you continue down this path, you're able to make it to the door. Okay. Um... <laughs> Across <laughs> one final obstacle. It looks as uh, not yet, Faison. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're able to make it through the door, and there's heavy impacts. There's claw marks, there looks like a bite mark, but it seems that Volkov enforced this door more heavily than the others. It makes a lot of sense, it's to his office. There's a lot of approaches you could take here. It looks weak. There's a keypad looking for a password. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You're not sure maybe if unleashing some techniques and brute force might do the deed of just dis dislodging the lock. There might be some information from everything that transpired to let you guess the password. Maybe there's something I'm not thinking about that you guys are. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we tell on the keypad which numbers are like, uh, you know, you can tell sometimes they've been used Boy, more than use others. Or I can sight to see something yeah. that might be hidden. Oh! Like, in Assassin's Creed, they can do this, so... <laughs> <laughs> we can get right now. So, we can ignore Tord Order for right now. Let's do complete free for him. SP! Go ahead, keep, keep on spamming up for your spear sights. Give me an order roll at the plus one. And let's see if you're able to view this have the spirits guide you to what this code might be. Just think if Desmond and Assassin's Creed can do it. Faison can. <laughs> yeah, see, see the Assassin's Creed clips? Go ahead, give me an aura roll, SP. You do. Um, you're able to see that it, it's not it's not a number lock. It's, it's, a, it's a letter lock or a password. Um, there are some letters on it. Six. There are six letters that need to be guessed. Uh, is it... Volkov? Red yeah, Sun. KV... <laughs> KVVCMM that was in that diary. Oh, yeah. What did you say? It was in that diary. The uh, initials K V V C and M M. <laughs> that was dicey. Uh, Tamara, I'm giving you a free valor for that ins that inspiration of you remembered that. That's <laughs> <laughs> too smart. I have no. <laughs> As uh, this is this. As you galaxy brain this <laughs> of who might be all involved, and you do, you take for doing so though, you 
you get a message back that you did not expect. And you probably want to throw this in your notes. Welcome back, Desmond Strong. And the door opens. Zach, like, I got so scared you were going to say Desmond Miles. <laughs> <laughs> As when you wrong music <laughs> of uh, let's see, we'll use this track. As you open the door, everything uh, is plain to see. You see an injured immortal wind uh, grasping at his side uh. with Volkov. Just the brief moment of him running to the next room, also Chover, uh, grasping most likely at his leg or side, but a mortal wind is hurt. <laughs> the door is completely open. Oh, guys, we're gonna run over. <laughs> immortal wind. Um. <sighs> I'm, I'm glad to see that you all made it. Don't. Worry about me. Stop Volkov before he gets out of here. I can heal you quickly if you need. I can too. Would be appreciated. But every moment wasted, you get away. I. He has something big planned. If you could stop him before he gets in. What, <laughs> what does he have? A, a weapon of sorts, but it's also it's right out of here. You'll be okay. all right though, right? If we go, we'll, we'll come back for you. Yeah, we'll wrap this up quickly and we'll come back. Uh, I, I can catch my breath very easy. An immortal's an immortal can't be put down for too long. Just give me a moment, a moment. I'll assist you guys however I can. I don't You've know done what, plenty already. I don't know what his machine's capable of. This is a thing I'll fall for when it's cornered like this. The door to Immortal Wind's uh, back is looks unlocked. Doesn't seem like Volkov had any time to lock it. His priority is getting out of here. Yeah, I think we should head there. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Let us in. Open your door to the public. Why are you closed? Yes. As you open the door. And there's another door. Uh, it's gotta, we gotta have a lot of suspense here. As you open the last door and see it's indescribable. <laughs> uh, what? You see a towering, oh my god, towering looking machine as Volkov. I should have had blood marks here. Oh well. Of uh, uh, reaching for his side, the hatch of the head opens as he stumbles in before any chance of you guys to be able to stop this. It's, it closes. And the sound of the engines as it starts to ignite is almost unbearable with how close you are to it. As it just revs up and revs up. Getting louder and louder. As it just takes off 
the marvel of this going to the sky is just inc it's a feat to behold as it disappears and in its wake there's glass everywhere the roof is tattered and destroyed um the having the doors shield you guys from the blast these guys are immediately knocked out cold we about one stretches <laughs> no uh <laughs> just like an old bethesda game and it seems really more so of a bitter like a bitter end volkov was able to get away or so you would think as from the other door, uh, you hear just a huge, huge roar of anger. Um, true to his word, Immortal Wind being uh, who he is, definitely has points to recover as he swoops through the door uh, and lands, lending his back down and turns to the four of you and, and just lets out probably the words that cement exactly what's going to happen next. So are we finishing this thing or what? Hell yeah! Yes. Oh. Can we jump on his back? <laughs> he that's what he's lending his back down for. Yay! Yay! As, as all of you climb aboard a mortal wind. And as fast as he as fast as he possibly can, he flaps his wings and skyrockets through the hole that Volkov has left uh, in his, his facility. And I think that is where we're going to leave this episode of Valor Live. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Let's get something a little oh. bit more chill. Also, the fire should stop being a fire. In terms of <laughs> <laughs> Dragon fight! He's a mech! <laughs> mech! I think you guys have a little taste about what's gonna happen next time, but I want to thank you guys for this muscling out. I know that last con was a little rocky, but sometimes the dice are like that! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. We're just giving you grief over nothing. Yeah, I'm yeah. teasing you. Alright, Captain Marvel. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I want to thank everybody who uh, stuck uh, this long. Usually, like, lead-up episodes like this always have a habit of going late, but I hope it was definitely worth it. I forgot to put his human icon on the GM layer. Regardless, uh, you definitely do not want to miss the next episode as things come to a final close and we put a bookend to this chapter of uh, what's been going on in the city of Calibri. Um, just want to take this time again. Uh, I know we said it at the beginning of this episode, but someone very important to many of us, someone that we all have our memories on, uh, uh, is unfortunately no longer with us. And hopefully to all of you, just a reminder, especially with what's been going on, uh, in this crazy world of ours to just as a reminder take an opportunity tell a loved one exactly how you feel about them uh, let that message be heard um, as I'm sure everybody would definitely appreciate it and you never know what may happen um, I'm going to thank everybody I want to thank my fellow players as always for muscling out and 
uh, cracking jokes with me, even even in weird comments wave, like I'll that. Wave. <laughs> I, I sincerely no. hope you guys did have a fun time at uh, and enjoyed this episode like with all the others. I want to thank Charu. Uh, thank you so much for all the work behind the stream. I know it's never easy, and it's definitely appreciated. Um, all the people who work behind the scenes, uh, Austin, Mackenzie, who created the system, and is uh, my backseat GM, I think is a good term whenever. I do not know the system nearly as well as the man of the hour, so... Uh, I definitely appreciate all the help he does, both on and off the scenes. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, all the artists, six and a heart, uh, they work their butts off. The lovely mecha art you've seen was done by six and absolutely killed it, I hope. <laughs> I think it looks fifty. Um, just to plug the system again, uh, check us out on ValorousGames.com. Best, uh, best place to be up to date with all of our stuff. And if Discord's more of your cup of tea, we also have one of those where uh, you could talk a lot about the system. People have been contributing a lot for uh, Austin's developer streams where he goes a lot in depth of how game mechanics work for the system. So if you want to help contribute to that and maybe see your ideas on the big screen too, it's a great place to go, as well as to talk to people about either the show, the system itself, or have a good time. Um, there's all the other ways you can support us, Patreon, HIO, Store MV. I know it's getting late, so I don't want to keep things going for too late. If I missed anything, I definitely apologize. Oh, it's things I always forget. Uh, the music that you guys hear in all these episodes. Uh, Purple Planet Music, the YouTube audio library, as well as, um... A new, a new place I've been getting music from. Uh, what, what is their name? I'm, a, I'm Dark Fantasy Studio. Uh, great places. I, I hope you guys like the tracks that have been featured on the show. Um, I, I love supporting their work. If you like good music, go check them out. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything important I'm missing. Please catch us next Friday, if all things go well, for the 12th and final episode of this season of Valor Live. Thank you again, everybody, for sticking it out. Thank you again, my fellow players. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to the chat, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Goodbye, chat. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Love Bye. you. Thank you. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Yep. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year.